Hello, 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 and welcome to Creative Quarantine Springfield, day number 27. Yes, y'all. Um, what can I say? We are on day number 27, y'all. We are moving along. There are only four days left. And for those of you that have not been paying attention, we are having a couple crazy things happen. The first thing is tonight is an all-nighter. Uh, you can thank Louise Cutler for that. That was her bright idea. She's going to be uh, spearheading that. We will be working from 6 in the evening till 6 in the morning. And those of you that want to tune in, we're going to get you a Zoom link and you can join in with us, whether you are painting with us, whether you are just cheering us on and just checking us out. That's what's going on. See how many people from the gallery we can fit into the Zoom. We, we figured out, you know, I didn't figure out. You know, I'm not that smart. Uh, Louise is the smart one. She figured out how to include a Zoom inside of our show. Wow. So that's going to be exciting and different. Uh, I'm a zombie right now, y'all. I got up tonight, at, uh, yesterday. I mean, yes, I can't even get my sentences right. I got up this morning at around 9 o'clock and been running since then. But my mind already knows I am not crashing until 6 a.m. So I'm already getting geared up. Uh, I got three uh, last collaborations by my man, LaShawn Beal, who has been a slave driver. I mean, this man keeps piling the artwork on. I got three more in the middle of the day. So I may uh, work on those tonight. Uh, how's everybody doing out there? Let me, where's my sidekick at? She's sitting on the side. I know she's sitting and waiting for that. That uh, she, What's happening, lady? Why you, why your picture so blurred today? It's blurry. It got a little better. Okay, it's clearing up as time goes. Oh, on. you know, because it's the you know I be putting that mic in front all the time, so the mic might be a little too close. Uh, so okay, don't be too cute now. We don't want you blurred up. We had enough problem with blurred pictures. I'm excited. I'm years. excited about tonight. Woo! Yeah. Well, we are in for it. Uh, Carol Gray, uh, you're getting four days closer to getting your husband a regular dinner. <laughs> And He's probably uh, excited about the, it. Uh, yes, we, we can see the finish we line. Can see the finish uh, we can, line. We're, we're ready to see who's going to tune in with us tonight. So, what's on your mind today? Who's hanging out with us? I'm just uh, really excited about tonight. I have just this is like so. And and, and I, I got up. Or I got up this morning. You know, I got some rest because I did work a little bit last night. So seven. I got up around seven tonight. Today, I was like, woo, seven o'clock. So that's late for me. Well, you know, I, I know because you get up like four in the morning. Four in the morning, I'm getting my second groove on. I'm flipping right. over. I'm so flipping I over felt like a, very refreshed. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I didn't think I was gonna get be able to take. I was like, maybe I should take a nap or something in the middle of the day. But that's not me. So not yet. Well, I've been trying another approach because I knew a nap was gonna be impossible. I've been right. moving slow all day. Just smooth. <laughs> I'm trying a smooth and easy route. I figured I'll start getting my right, my brain right around seven, seven thirty. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that, that's my plan. I'm yeah. trying to get the studio organized so people won't witness me falling over stuff. <laughs> that's what I today was all about um, because I'm a firm believer that I wanted to plan out tonight because you know I, you can see my my fingers are all black. I wanted to plan out tonight because it's like not having too much downtime because you know if we get downtime we're just up here we like. <laughs> <laughs> and so I didn't want to go there. So I was like, well, let me plan out tonight. What kind of things I'm going to work on, that kind of thing. And so that's what I've been doing today. Yeah, it reminds me of the old dance contest where you get out on the floor and they had the whoever's the last one standing. I'm hoping we won't be as graceful as that. Because <laughs> <laughs> some of those don't end real well. Right. But that's but, uh, just it, you know, and, and we're rooting for our our, um, our gallery that you guys are going to hang in there because the last one standing gets an original painting, an uh, original piece of art. At six o'clock, I guess I got to go check outside a couple of times because, you know, I don't have natural light in my space. <laughs> and, the, and I've never had natural light in the studio the whole time I've been living in Baltimore. Wow. But what I plan to do is in the morning, if I started painting natural light, my work would probably just change overnight. <laughs> uh, I'm so used to fluorescence lighting my stuff that that's just why my work looked the way it looked. <laughs> <laughs> but around 5 30, 6 o'clock, I might catch the sunrise outside too. Oh, yes. yeah. Because normally I roll in and it's, the sun is already kind of up, but mm. the night, for yeah, sure. Tonight, tonight you, you can watch Ooh. it at income. So then the sticky part becomes. 
Thursday is the day I normally prep for the Friday sale. Mm -hmm. So that means I got to go home. I got to nap. I got to get up. I got to get <laughs> here in enough time mm -hmm. to get things ready for the sale. So while we're on that subject, you know we have another sale coming up. We scheduled for Friday. That's right. So those of you that have not been paying attention, our live sale number two is Friday, January 29th at 6 p.m. It is your second chance to acquire original works created by the participants during a creative quarantine Springfield. You know, we did a sale number one and it went rather well. Some people got some real goodies. This is like a preview. We've never been able to do this in a quarantine before mm -hmm. to show you the work before it is actually exhibited and while the artist is still working. And you're actually seeing all of the work. It's not It's not all going in the sale, but you're actually seeing all the work as it comes, uh, as it's completed, which is exciting. Yes. Yeah, so that means that everything on the show you would have seen during the show mm -hmm. at some point if you've been watching. And if not, you can always binge watch this on Larry Poncho Brown on YouTube. You can see all the episodes there. You can see all the episodes on Creative Quarantine on Facebook. And you can see all the episodes that are for the Soul Gallery on Facebook, as well as uh, Louise's, what did name your two? Um, that is the Louise Cutler Studio page and the Beauty of Blackness Fine Art Show page. You got so you got all, all of those pages where you can see the entire show from day one to day 20. What did I say 27? 27. 27. Oh, Lord, I Lord. Add Lord. a disclaimer in there. Let me let you guys know. If you see something, buy it up at that time of the show. Because if you clock in later and say, hey, is this still available? You can't get it. You can't get it. We have made the rules up. Trust me. There was somebody later on. I was going through the um, what is it on uh, on the creative quarantine site, and somebody was like, "Hey, is this still available?" And yeah, it's available with the creative available. quarantine Springfield <laughs> exhibition happening in February. <laughs> <laughs> so definitely make sure that you guys get it during the show because some of these like poncho said some of these prices go up at the hour <laughs> it's not the same absolutely not the same. absolutely You're getting a really great deal here and it's not even about a deal and right. i don't even want to use well, that not a deal. It's not well, a deal. But, 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 but i had to correct it babe i'm sorry i know i know this I is know. not a deal mm -hmm. this is original works that were just created for the creative quarantine and so right. i don't want people going into it if you look for a deal this might be the wrong show for you to watch right. but if we you know. are want if you want to acquire a small original for your collection Right. This it's is an excellent to do it. opportunity right. for entry level pieces for your collection. Right. Um, I, you I, always say, I always I use I take that deal out. And so if you're looking for a great piece, this is where you want to get it because you can only get it during the actual sale. So let your friends know that if they want to get it, they have to get it during the actual show because everything else goes off to Art for the Soul Gallery. So that, and then that's where they'll have to get it. <laughs> well, that's it. That's pretty much cut and dry. Last week's show was very simple. We started at six o'clock. We joked around a little bit. We got into it. We only showed 25 pieces. 25 pieces. The artists have already completed over 220 pieces. Now, are we sticking with 25 pieces Friday? 25 pieces, baby. 25 pieces, everyone, just to let you know. 25 pieces, which means that you're it's the pick of what the artist has chosen to put out there. So there you go. And then depending on how well the uh, show number two goes, we will decide if we're gonna do one the last day. The oh and, and, and to Annetta Hamilton, she said, I missed out on a piece because I did not hear that part. I'm sorry. Well, that's uh, well. Antoinette Hamilton is uh, she's a dealer. She has a gallery up in in New York City. I've exhibited her place before. Mm -hmm. She's a great supporter, a great follower. Uh, but she know the deal too about accessibility. <laughs> you get it while you can, and uh, that's what we've been trying to do here is keep you aware of what we're getting ready to do. So I'm gonna... the piece is the piece that you requested is still available. It's just at the going to be at the. <laughs> it's going to be available at the gallery. But right. She's in upstate New York, which is only four hours away from Springfield. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll work that out. But um, we, we'll we talk about some more of that the last day about the show coming up and accessibility, some of the pieces and all that kind right. of stuff. But I advise all of you 
to take your personal notes. Mm -hmm. um, wow. Feel free to approach each artist individually if you decide you want to do that. For those of you that have relationships, Antoinette Hamilton has had a relationship with me mm -hmm. for at least 15 years. So she's she may call me directly to get pieces. Okay. But if you want pieces from the show, you got to be there Friday at 6. Right. Be there Friday. So uh, that's a lot. That's that's more than enough to get the party started. Get it? the party started. So I, I don't know. know. I think I think the artists are all tired. They're tired of a me. Little bit. A little bit. They're tired of me. They're tired of 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 uh, interviewing. They're tired of uh, documenting. They're tired. They're tired of painting. They're tired of uh, uh, standing. They're tired. Of <laughs> <laughs> and then the other half is so motivated. They were just like, hey. They want to keep going. They need more days. They need more they days. Need more days. So, I'm, I'm with them. More days. More days. I, I'm not on the more days side of this, <laughs> unfortunately. But that's okay. It's good. I think if they want more days, but then if you gave it to them, they'd be like, "Man." Okay, I'm a I'm the veteran of the group. <laughs> I'm the only one that's participated in every quarantine. Okay, so yeah, I feel the difference between forty something year old Poncho and fifty something year old Poncho. Almost sixty something year old poncho. So you know, uh, but I am pacing myself. We got a lot accomplished. Not to take with the end, we accomplished a lot with this project. This is a, a historic situation for you and me as far as broadcasting and trying to do a project like this. So and thank oh, you yeah. for all the help you have given me to get it to this point. Couldn't have done it without you. And I want to thank everybody that supported us, yes. supported us for the last twenty seven days because. Y'all could have been watching all the crazy stuff happening on the news. A lot of stuff. So we really, really appreciate you guys hanging out with us and watching us and binge watching us. I mean, because that's, I'm like, what? This is exciting. I mean, you guys encourage us. You encourage us to keep going. Now, yesterday, yesterday was the day of failures. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it started off with Kathleen. She did a Kathleen thing, didn't work, and I watched <laughs> Kathleen like she she just did not like it. Okay, <laughs> if you saw, if you watched the show yesterday, you felt her pain. Kathleen, and then uh, 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 Michelle Vigent showed a film of her <laughs> trying to work on my paper, and her ink wasn't drying, and she was smudging everything and trying to fix it as she was going. So then I went and showed you a mess or two that I poured that were failures. But I can tell you that Poncho put his brain together last night because the one I did, I had a piece that was fused to glass. I thought about it. I went, okay, warmth. It was the mo the, the consistency with the resin was too, too soft. Mm -hmm. So I just put it in my van overnight while I was freezing. <laughs> Pop came off so <laughs> i have officially one failure in the studio not two. you've cleared it out well mine was, my <laughs> yours, is, <laughs> mine was yours is painful mine was a painful and expensive it, 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 painful <laughs> and expensive she messed up a mold for her uh her her bronze sculptures doing a resin because and the, the issue is she didn't use enough release when I saw you spritzing that, that olive oil and spritzing that release, I'm going, you I should have put the olive there. oil. I should I didn't use the olive oil. I should have. I'm like, all I'm saying is I could tell when y'all were doing it. I'm like, I don't Why didn't you say put some more spritz on that? Because girl. you are the expert in bronzes. But and, that's and the metal. first time I've ever used that release. That's the first time I'd ever used that release. I was, you have to use that release liberally. And on some things now, I use silicone molds, so mine is not as is not not as sensitive as yours. Right, and that's just and that's why I was using olive oil. But I was like, let me try this release, girl. All you did was <laughs> make the room smell better. <laughs> like, but see, I did. That's just it. I didn't use the olive oil. I just used the release. I like. I normally use the olive oil spray. For the size of those pieces, you probably needed a can of release on those things. And then, and then you know, and then what I usually do is, is I go back in and I rub it all and mm -hmm. in every area. And I didn't. I'm like, this must work great. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it's kind. Of, you were a lot, under a lot of pressure now. You had your husband standing there holding a five gallon drum. 
He was like, you was trying to be time efficient, so he was, he, was, he was. He was mixing it up as he go. He and was this is quarantine, so we're not really doing it by the directions. <laughs> but you know what? I got it out, and I can repair. I can repair it, but I needed to make a new one anyway. So it's like it's all about you got to You got to come up with the next thing. And um, in my case, I made. Uh, I y'all saw a couple of days ago. If you watched me, I was mixing resin. And I mixed too, I poured too much in the container. Yes. So I went to go try to get another container and try to do a little thing. And, and my mathematics probably got off in the midst of me dumping the three containers, which means my resin was a little softer and cured a little slower, which is why it's sticking to everything known to man right now. <laughs> when but, you were doing that, Poncho, I was like, yeah, uh -huh. it, uh -huh. I, I did too much. I usually I, I stick with what's happening in that one container, but I got greedy. We were, you know what? We all got greedy. Yeah, we so all, it's all part of the process, y'all. We, were, we were overreaching. This is not did. about perfection, y'all. We have been really trying to get some, uh, you know, get get this thing started and keep it moving. Exactly. But it was a great day yesterday. It was a great day. And, and you know, the, it was destined to have... We had to have those mishaps. It's like, cause there's no way you could do a show for 31 days mishap free. I don't know how many, and this is the first time we ever did this. Well, it's the first time we've ever showed the mishaps, but I'm sure there has been more. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's been plenty of mishaps. We just don't know about them. Some of my uh, uh, assemblage pieces were because there was a mistake on one of them. <laughs> but you should see the one I just did. Oh, It was a mistake. I, I did it. And my, my resin was too soft. It was, I mean, too cold. And I was okay. anxious. So it came from the driver. I came upstairs. I mixed it up. It wasn't room temperature. I oh. poured a couple pieces. And what that does is it didn't cure all the way. So one I cured, I pulled it out. The motor looked fantastic. But then over time, I, it started to seep. So there was some, some stuff that wasn't probably mixed properly with the right temperature. Okay. And it mm -hmm. broke down and some wrinkles came on the outside. Man, I, really said, I want to see that. I took some textured paper and put on top of that. Boom, boom, bap, bap, bap. Stuck some some branches <laughs> in it. <laughs> I got to show you this one. I want to see that. I want to see that. Yeah, so sometimes you got to use all the magic at one time. I know, because I have a piece that's going to get some branches, too. Oh, yeah, I love that. I love that. Yeah, so I ended up painting over her. I put a, a sphere over it. the spot that I had the issue with. I love that. I, I, I took the branches. I painted them. Those are glued in from a, a metal sculpture that I had. Mm. And this is called Gaia. Gaia. It's made to hang right on the wall. Yeah, I've got I've got one that I'm going to do some branches on too. I love that. I love that piece. That's so really sometimes great. you transform the mistakes to something so wonderful. Great. That's called movie magic. <laughs> so we're gonna get ready to get this party started. What we got? You know what? All my artists, they just I don't know what's happened to them. They ain't submitting no video. You know I got I got a video, but I want to show you something. I'm gonna show you. I've been saving these for a long time. And I'm going to use them on one of my, I'm going to use these on one of the wood pieces and I'm going to actually resin them. So what I do is a lot of times when I'm doing my metal leaf mm -hmm. and I have to cut from them, I have to trim them. I save this, the metal leaf strips. Oh, cool. So these are all water from watercolor paper. Really okay. thick watercolor paper. So I'm actually going to use these. Is on, it and it's already gilded. It's already gilded. It's on one already side. gilded. So I'm going to use these on one of the pieces. That's sharp. So I have a whole bag and I just. No, that's it. nice. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. You got goodies over there. I got to come by your spot and, and, and send you and your husband to the store for a few hours. <laughs> I, you know what? Why make me a why make me a carry on bag? Look, he'll probably be like, "Yes, please take more." <laughs> <laughs> uh, in case you guys have not been watching the show, you know Karen Clark sent me this cartoon early in the process. This is really explains what's up with us right now. <laughs> That 
face on the artist just cracks me up every time I see that because, because it's, it's so true. true. It's, it's like, no. <laughs> It's like, because we are, we're always like, oh, I yeah, I, I, you I, get I, into I, that piece, and all of a sudden you realize, whoa, wait a minute. I just I pulled these it. out. I'm like, oh, oh, I can do something with this. <laughs> so uh I ran out of ink last night, and um no, I, I ran out of ink yesterday. That's because you didn't go shopping. And then I ordered uh, online, and luckily it came in this morning, which is oh, very wow. quick. So I had a chance to print out my digital piece that I've been working on. I wanted to see what it looks like off the computer. Oh, let's see. Cause that was a really nice piece. Yeah. She turned out really nice. Oh, wow. And nice so you're gonna go color. back in and what, are you, so you're gonna do some ink on her? No, I'm not gonna do anything to her. I'm just gonna print her on uh -uh. Uh, either glass or acrylic. That's really pretty. You I know, like. That. I don't have time for the exhibition. I'll just print it on watercolor paper. But she turned out really nice. Oh yeah. And all I need now is a title. Okay, I won't name it. <laughs> I've gotten some of your titles already, so uh, you you can you can, you may be able to do a little something. <laughs> I told you, I'm a very simplistic titler. I, ain't nothing wrong with that. That's good. <laughs> That's good. I don't. Well, I don't know what she's wowing for. It must be the mask or this piece here. But thank I think you. it's that piece. Yeah. Well, Michelle got it going on. She her her count is getting up there too. So we are. Oh, over Michelle's got a lot of stuff going. Over two hundred pieces, y'all. We are crunching tomorrow. I'll give a more accurate number. Right. Uh, so you ain't got any, anything else on your mind? I Nothing think else? that's it. But I do have a video. So when you ready for it, let me know. All right. So we're gonna get ready to get this party started. I'm going to show you our portfolio before we get going good. days left y'all oh lord and and i don't even know how to articulate what this day feels like to y'all uh you know some of y'all been watching the whole you know 27 days and you kind of get a feel for what's happening but for everything you do get a sense of there's 10 things you don't get a sense of you know uh artists are basically uh they're a presentation of 25 minutes a day which makes up a complete show um but 25 minutes a day is not a fair representation of what they do all day. And so, you know, you get a good peek into what's happening, but the, the, the long hours, the, the sustained concentration, the, all the other things that come with trying to do this is the thing that you probably don't get to understand. I am so proud of our group. We have created over 200 pieces, over 200 pieces in this quarantine. And that is fantastic. Uh, uh, we might shatter a crazy record between now and Sunday because this is crunch week. And so we're going, and tonight has the nerve to be overnight studio. My partner in crime, Louise, came up with the, hey, why don't we work all night? When are we going to work all night? And we laughed and joked about it like the first two weeks. And then all of a sudden, boom, here we go. Last night, we all committed. Well, most of us committed to working from six, uh, when the show starts at six o'clock to six o'clock in the morning and overnight. Ah. 
So I'm going to pump some extra vitamins. I got a little bit of rest last night. And so here we go. Put this old body to the test. We will be working from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. And broadcasting it all, too, on two streams. So if you're up for the game, um, listen out to Louise. She'll tell you the best way to chime in. Now, we got some people in the gallery out there, and some of them have committed to being with us all night. We're going to get a special Zoom link out to you guys, and we're going to actually uh, put y'all on broadcast tonight. So we plan on having like a partial party tonight, an uh, overnight party, an overnight studio is what we call it. You got something you want to finish up, you want to work along with us and come along for the trip because this is exactly what it's going to be. I went shopping. I got me some salad goods. I got me some, some uh, dessert. I got me a couple of drinks. You know, I'm not a normal uh, a soda drinker at all for the most part. But today I just wanted a steward root beer. Mm, 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 mm. That's some good stuff right there. So uh, I think I'm as ready as I can be for tonight. Old body is ready to go. We will see what's happening. So meanwhile, I got a couple of collaborations. The collaborations have been off the chain, y'all. I finished two last night, one with Deborah Shedrick, the one with um, Louise Cutler. And Louise Cutler's was different. We work very, very different. Her characters are totally different than my characters. So trying to come up with a balance with me and her work has been a challenge. But guess what? That is what the uh, quarantine is all about. So we're going to do some more of those to give you a chance to see me working on a couple of those. Um, I did another assemblage piece. Um, I think it's really nice. It's, a, a, it's an homage to Mother Earth. It's a, one of my cast masks with plants coming out of her, out of her head. And uh, I found uh, old some herbal furniture, um, decorative furniture stuff thrown in an alley somewhere. And I saw this little like metal piece with leaves on it. Let me grab that. I might be able to use that one day. Well, Quarantine Springfield is where I got to use it. And so uh, I got a couple of more of my assemblers pieces to assemble today. Um, they're going to be in my count. Right now I'm focusing on, I got a lot of stuff that's prep. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to finish between now and Sunday. So um, there we go, y'all. <laughs> that's it. I might as well just go ahead and do my crunches and do my stretches and my, and my planks and get ready for tonight's overnight studio. So one of the things that I uh, have been falling behind on is I have a whole slew. When I say slew, I mean just that, a slew of collaboration pieces. I'm just about to finish up two. Um, this one right here is with Deborah Shedrick, and I have a couple little spots I need to get fixed on here because I got to have me splashing some paint. On one of my other pieces, so I had to clean it up a little bit. But this was a very successful collaboration. She submitted the background with this one runner right here, and then I just went back and put two other runners in there. And uh, the title of this piece is Finding Our Stride. Finding Our Stride. I'm just touching up a couple of pieces that need a little bit of love. So this one is pretty much done. Down to the side. 
here's another one that we created. Um, she had the central figure here, her hand raised, that arm was down. She came down here, she had one leg forward and one leg back. I went in and put this other leg in the center. I threw that other back leg backwards. I threw this arm backwards as well. And I took this arm and I raised it here. And uh, I started to put a ghosted face in here since that dark spot was there. But I decided to leave it as B. This piece is entitled. What did I title this piece? I gotta remember it. Oh, I'm sorry. It's called No More Silence. No More Silence. And, and you know, this is the thing that's funny. Trying to come up with titles for pieces, when you've been titling pieces for thousands and thousands of works and trying to keep them unique is more of a challenge than you would think. And I think sometimes we are relieved when people title pieces for us. So this is a, a very successful collaboration between me and the Boris Shedrick, like that last piece. I'm still wrestling this piece right here with the Sean Beetle. But I think I just need to put a little bit more time in it. I might have to do some, some fixes on a few color. one of the last of the Count Willoughby pieces that he sent me. Thank you. 
I like working with Sean Bill. His pieces and, and my pieces tend to flow. He gave me one difficult one based on the amount of space we have left. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump in and out as best as I can and finish it up. I might have to come up with a simplistic solution for that. Now, all the artists have done a good job with their collaborations. And I think we created more collaborations than we ever did in a quarantine before. Collaborations are really good exercises when you need to get yourself off of a, out of a creative box. It's good to do these because you get a chance to kind of wing it with your, with your uh, imagination a little bit.
only problem I have with doing these is that I have to make sure I don't get so invested in the flow of it that I actually prohibit it from looking like LaShawn and mine. There's a point where I have to work and stop. And I think I'm getting close to that point now. Yes, that is LaShawn's flower.
as you can see, I'm putting the finishing touches on this piece. Now, you know what I lost my mind, right? I have sat here and I've made an agreement to do an all night studio. An all night studio, y'all. What is going on with me? What, 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 what's happening? Am I that caught up in the groove of the quarantine? Is that what's happening to me? Well, I guess y'all about to see now. Hopefully y'all won't see me fall out in the floor. But uh, old man ain't used to being up at six o'clock in the morning from six in the afternoon. So here we go. Thank you. 
So I'm coming to the end of this collaboration with Deborah Shepard. As you can see, we are moving things around in the studio. I got two or three things on the table at one time. I got a couple collaborations I need to finish up. Um, I got one more art supply store run to make, and that's just for some mounting and some framing issues uh, for a couple of my smaller pieces. So I'll probably make that run tomorrow morning. I went and made a run to the plastic store today to find some goodies for a couple of the casted transparent masks that I did. So I'm gonna have some little fun with those. Got some. They had a few little scraps of things they don't use that much. So I'm going to try to see if I can experiment with those. So I'm going to be getting ready. Uh, there is no all night. There is no uh, end of the night today. There is no hey. I'm going to sign off and go home. I am right now preparing myself for the overnight studio, which will be running from six to six a.m. If you win, hit us up. We're going to put you on the line with this. That's what I'm going to do there. And then for the background, I'm going to use the no. I'm I'm mixing uh, a yellow, which is a 
Indian yellow. Here's what I can do. And I and I had blue paint, of course, on my brush because I didn't change brushes. And so, of course, it came to be green. But, uh, oh, I love this surface to paint on. It's really quite nice. These are new. I just got them the other day. Um, they were on sale, like everything now. And um, I think I got a box of them for X amount of dollars. I don't remember what, but I really like them. And I like this size. This is a good size to show. And in this part of the country, what we do is, um, you know, I've shown my work at all the museum, not museums, what am I saying? All the libraries, almost all the libraries around here have art galleries. And they do that because it helps, it gives the people at the library or who, who are visiting the library something else to do, I guess. But um, they all have art galleries. And then all the um, hospitals, not all of them, but a lot of them have art galleries. Uh, so that's another nice place. And you find that the doctors and nurses, you know, they're walking up and down the aisles all day long. So they're looking at your work. And we find that they buy quite a bit of the work. So it's just hanging in your local venues. And then every single town here of any size has a art league. And so... Uh, you can, you know, you can live in any town. You can live in Springfield and join the Wolverham or the Long Meadow Art League. They're all here um, for members of Massachusetts to join, which is very nice. And you get to hang your work. And, you know, there are, are art festivals. There are garden shows. There's all kinds of things that go on um, where it's appropriate to hang artwork. And, uh, and really, those are the people that usually like art because they're creative in some way or another. I like the way this is looking. I think that yellow really makes it pop. So now I'm going to come up with something for this basket because it's not quite working. So I'm just filling in with that light blue the areas of the basket. Some of them I'm going to leave white. I'm really liking this one. <laughs> you know, I'm looking at the old one, and it looks okay, but it just doesn't have... There's a spark that's missing that this one has. is like the word now. Um, I don't exactly know what to do up here. I'm going to take this blue. Yeah. 
So, you know, these, um, these, uh, <laughs> as you can see, I kind of have fun doing this. Continue to step back and I look at it from different directions, but I'm feeling really good about this one. It's looking just the way I want it. So basically, we're finished. This is was phase three. I can hold my camera up to the painting so that you can see the details of it. I don't know if you can. Let's see if I can turn it around. I don't know. I just have a hard time with this. But anyway, it looks really good, and I'm very happy. As you can see, I'm moving this brush around in different, I feel like I'm, in different ways, just to uh, get the angles that I want. So, you know, this is still looking like an abstract. And that's the look that we want here. You know, we don't want it to look like a photograph. You know, a photograph is what Melinda sent me. It's a beautiful photograph, but that's not what we want to capture here.
So when I talk about soft, soft edges, um, it's, it's, uh, their soft edges and their hard edges. These are all soft, in my opinion. I feel like they're soft. Um, pure color. You know, it's mixed with other colors that are on my brush. So this is it for this session. Um, but what I'll do is I'll continue working on this and then my third session will be to So what you doing out there, partner? You must be out there doing something because you're smiling and you got paint all underneath your fingernails. I do. It looks awful. I was spraying. What are you doing? I guess that. we ain't got to be secretive tonight since we're going till six in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working. I was working on that piece. You'll see it later. I don't know if you can see it on the floor over there on that black. Yeah. That one. But that's you'll your, see it that's later. your resin piece. Yeah, that's the resin that's piece. Gonna you'll see it. That's gonna yeah, be bad. That's gonna be bad. Yeah, you see it. You'll see it later. Now, uh, you, now you got to create something from that with that mold being damaged, right? I, exactly. We got. I got. I got to put that bad fella together, and it's got to be a part of what's going on. <laughs> what's going on? Oh, wait a minute! I didn't mean to do all of that. So I was still talking. All right. So. I decided that um, maybe everybody needed to see what was really going on over here in Louise Cutler Studios. And so here we go. Day 27. So I just wanted to give you guys a brief overview of what my studio <laughs> actually looks like during the creative quarantine. So I just took a uh, several photographs of um, just um, what it looks like right now. And trust me, this is not how it usually looks, but it's how um, just working 
for 30, well, are we on 27 days, working for 27 days, which means that it's not like you're picking up and cleaning up after each project, at least not in my studio. It's like, it's going from one project to another project and um, just keep going, keep going and computer work. And, and you can see there's art pieces everywhere. So it's like putting art pieces. I, this is a ladder. I have some art pieces sitting on a ladder to dry. And then there's just paintings stacked on top of different things and paint because I'm actually working in acrylics and I'm working in oil. So I have both, um, both of those things kind of set up and just um, always like, where should I lay this painting? Or where now that's what I'm talking about. Chaos. <laughs> it's got to chaos. Mold everywhere, <laughs> all over the floor, and um, but it's pretty exciting. I've had a lot of time um, using. Uh, I've just been using different brushes that I own, and um, using my molds, and um, just using different paint that I have. And I got to break out some some of my palette knives that I hadn't used in a long time, and so just um, really uh, excited about the different things that I've had to do and the different challenges I've had to um, actually face during this time because some of it was time related um, dealing with my time and how I um, actually control my time and just basically seeing the things that I wanted to get done. So I just wanted to give you guys an overview of what my studio looks like during creative quarantine with all of the stuff but it's been pretty fun but the cleanup is going to be crazy <laughs> crazy there we go so that's what my that's what my studio looks like so i'll be expecting uh, yours mine mine Oof. <laughs> i'll be expecting your uh your studio overview. Um, uh, I can do. I'll do a studio overview before Saturday gets here. Cause it's crazy. <laughs> it's it's a it's alive. It's alive. It's I alive. alive. I know. I, I I decided yesterday just to take pictures like all over my studio, and I was thinking, who I need I need somebody to come in and clean this up. Uh, my <laughs> studio. Well, first of all, both of us started without a clean studio. <laughs> So it's going to be even worse now. I mean, I literally going to have to get a shovel <laughs> and a dumpster to clear this place out. But I'm looking forward to it because a lot was created. A lot was done. I know. I, that, and that's how I, I was looking at it. Two I'm whole like, work I got two whole work tables. Matter of fact, I might even strap on my, uh, my, uh, my cell phone around my <laughs> neck and walk around the studio tonight so you can see the real true view live. That's what I figured. It's live. like, let me some show of your the stuff real look, Some of your stuff I'm, look a little perfect, like the two pictures on the, the pictures on the shelf. They look kind of cute. They right there. They're on yeah, the ladder. It, it look kind of staged. And then you got the, the ones on the ladder. Or that <laughs> looks, <laughs> That's <laughs> where I put them. That's where I put them. It's like I was running out of space, and I was like, I'm going to put these on the ladder, and then I got I may have to do mine live. You're going to see me leaping and jumping over stuff, grab bags of groceries. I mean, it's crazy. It's really crazy. It's like, so far, they they just watched the upper parts of it. It's like, let's, let's, let's let, let me let you see what's actually in here on the floor. And, you know, this is the first time I've been working on the floor. And I think we got the largest studio. So the larger your space is, the worse you get. I mean, artists that work in a confined space, they know what's up. You know, it's only so far they can go out. Right. But if you got 2,000 square feet, 1,500 square feet, that's a you lot of room all to spread out. Yeah, you just spread out. You It's like, I'm, I'm on my floor. I'm and all... Then, yeah, and then it's a little crazy because you got more, more stuff than the average artist need to create work. <laughs> That's where I'm at. So, but at the same time, I'm thankful I was able to build my studio and get it the way I wanted. Very few artists have a studio where they can just do what they want to do. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so I wouldn't yeah, say there's nothing in the world. 
Mm-hmm. But uh, I love I'm, seeing all of the different ways that artists work too, because it's not about just having a studio. It's about oh, yeah. having a, a sacred space that you can work in. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's, that's, that's really all what it's all about. And you know, that's something we, we hadn't talked about. And that's something we should talk about is um, space, mm-hmm. you know, and creating your space for you to work, it's creating a space. Cause when I always get, I, I always get artists and they're like, well, I can't work and you know, I, I don't have anywhere to, to paint. I don't have, and, and I always tell them, um, just find a tiny spot. All you, you need me is take your arms and, and spread them out like this. And then you got space. And you that's just- that space down in front of you. <laughs> and now how much space you need to create something. Now once because you start you talking about- it. Yeah. It's, and I, if you got I'm an easel, like, an easel gives you more space. Cause some of us work upright, some of us mm-hmm. work flat, some of us do all of it. Right. I pretty much work flat for the most part. Mm-hmm. Very right. seldom my own easels. But right. yeah, that sacred space thing is important. Also, the good thing about having a sacred space is that you can walk out of it and leave your brain. Exactly. You know, I can, I can leave what I'm doing in my studio. I live about maybe 15 minutes away from driving from my studio to here. And it's nice to be able to shut off because when I get home, I'm not consumed with thinking about what I'm going to do at the studio. Whereas mm-hmm. when it's in another room, and I know you probably still have to deal with that too, with the family and all the other stuff, you still right. got that brain saying, eh, one room over is some stuff I need to be doing. Whereas I know I'm home, I'm, I'm my car is cooling down, I, I can get it to it tomorrow. And so uh, everybody works different, and it's nice to right. see the different ways that artists work too. Yeah, and that and that's what I like. I it's it's been nice to see the different artists here and how they work. You know, you take like Michelle, who is in a very confined space, you know, very small space, and then you take Ryan also, you know, Ryan's like, I, I can't Ryan, really get out of I, you know what? Ryan is my boy. I love him. <laughs> but Ryan must be working in a closet. <laughs> You know, there's a window next to him, which he, 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 he's, he, I don't know if it's there for ventilation. I don't know if it's there for. He said just, it's ventilation. He said it's ventilation. I don't know if it's, that is the room that he's in. That's just it. Um, he creates in like a corner. Yes, and he he's does. still doing some large pieces and while we're in that space. Right. Uh, yeah, but I, yeah. but I, I see him trying to set that studio space. It was a shame he only got four days. Yeah, he said, man, I'm sharing four days. There. Yeah, because yes, he want, I, there's no telling what he going to do in a space that size. Because he's yeah. like, yes. And Michelle <laughs> Regent, she's pretty much whatever's on her table is where she's working. And most of her exactly. pieces are, are smaller pieces. Small. But mm-hmm. Yeah, but you you make it work. And Deborah Shedrick, for instance. Uh-huh. Deborah uh-huh. Shedrick is purposely painting in front of her laptop. Right, right. But yeah. I've, seen then- Deborah, I've seen Deborah take uh, a uh, a small suitcase into a hotel room. Mm-hmm. And she'll rent a suite for a week. And mm. while she's in that suite, she'll be cranking out pieces. I watched yeah. Sean Beal. He's got this little case. <laughs> like Felix the Cat. And all y'all, you older right. folks know Felix the Cat. You younger ones don't. Right. But all his mm-hmm. magic tricks is in that bag. And he rolls it. He ain't carrying well, He rolls it in. <laughs> well, that's so, what I'm saying. He's, you, you sure? It sounds more like Mary Poppins pulling that stuff out. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So everybody works. I purposely do not work on the road. I I, mm-hmm. I spend so much time in this space that when I'm on yeah. the road, I will not be painting. I might draw yeah, on I the don't. road, right? But I don't go prepared to paint on the road. No, I don't either. I don't. When I leave, you know, because for me, my studio is in my home, so it's like when I leave, I'm not. It's already with me all the time. <laughs> so exactly. it's like I love what I do, but. You got to be able to step away from it. You know, artists live very isolated lives. So exactly. we have to be careful not to become too isolated because it's mm-hmm. this world is like you get to time travel. I come in at nine in the morning and if I'm working on a piece, I can time travel to late at night and mm-hmm. don't have any recollection of time, space or anything else. And that leads to that other thing we talk about, depression and isolation and all that stuff. So being able to stop and, and get out of the space exactly. is healthy. It's healthy and because I can easily get lost in this space if I allow myself to. You have to. What I find is, is uh, you know, because I have not been out a lot other than that Monday to go, you know, do work and come back. And 
It's like you have as an artist, you have to purposely. I'm going to go for a walk. I'm going to get out of my space. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that because it's not an innate desire to do so. It's like you it's like I could sit up here and paint and draw and be cool right here. And so it's something you have to purposely purpose in your heart. It's like I'm going to go out. I'm going to go out. I'm going to do something. I'm going to go order something. I'm going to eat something. I'm going to walk somebody. Because our thing is, is, oh, I'm going to go to the art store. I'm going to go pick up an art. <laughs> and like I love as I travel, because one of the things I do is that all the artists that I work with, I've been to their studios, I've been to their homes, I see their workspaces. And that's part of what vibes of me. When I'm running out of gas and if I'm run into a creative block, I go to a friend's studio and that's enough to do it for me. But I see mm -hmm. so many people that I work so many different ways. I mean, I went one time in the Charlie Palmer's house. It's probably different now. Uh, mm -hmm. but he had one small room and he had magazines all over the floor and I, it was a small room that he was creating. Mm -hmm. And then he moved to a space and he spread out. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Grace Kisa, Mm -hmm. Worked in a small room with a stack of all the stuff she needs in that room. It's just mm -hmm. amazing to see what people that the, the sacred space that people create, right? To be able right. to do what we do. And so, if you're out there and you're doing this, sick, make yourself a sacred space. If you got a small space, make the most of what you got. Exactly. It's you, you make the most of it and you get it done. I always say it's like you want to have that space. And when I talk to artists, it's like, I don't care how big your apartment is or whatever you can find. It's like you said, you can find some space. You can, and you can make complain home. about not having enough space or making mm -hmm. an excuse for not this working. Is, yeah. And that's how I see it. It's like, you're just making an excuse. Cause one of the things because I have found every time I go somewhere and every time we move somewhere, the first thing I do is designate space. Now, I haven't always had this studio, mm -hmm. but I always, no matter where we have lived, I have always designated space for creating. Somewhere, I've, either I go in a basement and sweep up some cobwebs or, you know. <laughs> and like, Somewhere. I've got enough room right now, and if I wanted to put a studio at home, I could. And at one time, I used to have a small studio where I could do with like a little watercolor, a little drawing, like a dry room kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but mm -hmm. then I got to the point, I was like, no. Um, right. me home, bed, sleep, caveman. No, no, you know, I <laughs> that's what's up, y'all. So, I don't know what y'all doing out there, but uh, the artists they doing something because nobody's trying to nobody in, saving their energy for uh, like the close of the show. You probably won't see them till around nine, ten o'clock. Oh, no. He's popping on to say, they hey. They naps while you and I are on the air. That's, That's what they're right. doing. They're letting us drain ourselves down That's so they can right. come back. It's like they're all somewhere taking naps on us. What's That's that okay. all about? Now, well, you know, that's what's up. That's what they got to do. And so what are you working on today? I'm going to be working on this piece over here. I worked on some of, worked on some of it yesterday, and I was able to add the potatoes to it. I painted the, can you see the bowl? I redid that. And so he's almost done. He's almost what, done. What size is that? Because it's deceiving. It's on the easel. So it must be, I have a pretty good size. Is that 22 by 30 or something like that? That is a 36 by something. Um, it's, I just wrote it down to my <laughs> husband, the panel for it. It's going to be mounted to a wooden panel. Okay. So I just wrote the size down. So that one's almost done. And um, once I, fin so I'm gonna finish those. I'm gonna finish the potatoes. That's a provider piece. Anytime your you tube see never showed up, huh? Your tube never showed up. I know. You know, I was just telling my husband. I'm gonna look at my uh, look for the receipts and stuff. It's crazy. It's crazy. I told my husband. I said, "This is ridiculous." That well, you know, that's what's up. That's what happens. I'll still work on it, but uh, yeah, it's not gonna get here before the quarantine's over. Well, Sean never got his. He still hasn't gotten his. Um, I told you it's the Pony Express out where you at. Deborah was supposed to get hers today or tomorrow, uh, yesterday or today, and it's crazy. I was like, this makes absolutely no sense that these pieces never showed up. I'm very, very just. 
I'm disappointed like Kathleen was yesterday. No, no, you're not. That's totally different. I'm if feeling Kathleen me... wasn't on the air, she probably would have flipped over a table or something. <laughs> this is the same woman that said she gets upset when food comes off her fork. So that was bigger <laughs> than a, a food falling off the fork last night. As a matter of fact, it was just sheer drama the first three minutes <laughs> of watching. <laughs> I know, because <laughs> didn't you see how it was? I was like, I could it, feel it, her pain. I could feel her pain. It's like I did, you know, too. I did too because I'm like Kathleen. Lift the camera up, honey, because all you saw was her walking the studio. Walking <laughs> the studio. Yeah, like, that's oh why I said, yesterday was an important show because everybody opened up a little bit about you know their process, making certain mistakes and all that. So there you go. <laughs> Detroit's in the house even after working ten hours. She's in her studio. That's what I'm talking about, Carla. Ooh, there you go, Carla. That's what we talk. That see. Right, Carla, Carla with the, I know. So yeah, that was uh, I was feeling, I was feeling it with her because I was mm -hmm. like, oh, because all I was like, oh my gosh, you know, because normally we'd be like, oh man, I screwed up, it didn't come out right. But well, when you I, were actually very, very nice and kind. Uh, my response probably wouldn't have been as warm as yours. It's like <laughs> I was just sitting there like this, like. <laughs> <laughs> Cause it I know I had been. my shit. See, people don't get to see that part. They don't see when I'm dropping stuff when I spill paint on a piece, and now I gotta paint the black, the background black because I spilled <laughs> black paint on it. We just thought you liked black. Nah, man, I I be making this, all kinds of mistakes over here. That's what happened. That's just it. It's like and think those kind of things happen. But I was, I was like, oh my gosh, she's actually she was devastated. She was literally devastated, and so. I had, you know, we had to step devastated up. Devastated in your own personal time and devastated online is two different things. So <laughs> y'all just need to understand how it works. But anyway, and, we got a little short little feature here from Ryan. I'm going to go ahead and play that so you can see what's happening in his world. Day 25, here's the progress of the painting I'm working on currently. Um, I had a bit of artist block tonight as I was staring at this, figuring out what to paint on it. So I just pulled up another image from one of my travels and started painting this freeway. Um, and lately I've been trying to get myself into the habit of, um, just priming the surfaces to start out with, um, an off white color. Um, so last night I, I primed this with a, like a light red, you can kind of see it here um and the, the point of that is so um if um if two edges were to not meet perfectly because you know I'm, I'm human i make mistakes um you would see that color and not the whiteness of the canvas um, so it would look slightly better um also spent most of the daylight hours um arranging things in the new studio, waiting for uh, a desk to come. Um, I'm going to go get that tomorrow. And hopefully by tomorrow night, um, I'll have set up enough stuff to be streaming from there for the last week of this. Um, this porch area is going to continue to be like the spray paint area, just because it's more ventilated uh, than the room further inside the house. And then that room is going to be dedicated to like stuff that doesn't have fumes, basically. So like acrylic painting, um, I'll set the cricket up in there and like pretty much everything else. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, see you tomorrow.
Wake up, wake up, woman, wake up. Yes, she is. You she's so sleepy, she got to she's still muted. I'm just admiring all the wonderful work. Yeah, well, you know it's about that time. Hey Kathleen. Hey, hey, hey. How you hey, doing? Hey. I see. Kathleen's so, ready to work. Okay. Uh-huh. So, somebody yesterday mentioned the um the paper might be the problem with the transfer. Uh huh. And when I picked up the, the first images I, and felt the paper, it felt different than what I'm used to. Mm -hmm. So I called the printer company and asked them what paper they used. And in fact, he was being kind, I think, and because it was photos, he was putting it on a particular paper that they do for photographs. Oh. But I told him, no, just put it on regular old <laughs> copy paper. Just regular old copy paper. Good. Yeah, it's so. Boom, oh. shakalaka. Oh, nice. Ooh. There you go. Nice. Yeah, that regular is old copy paper. That's I did fantastic. it. Show that one that more time. Really? Mm -hmm. So I, I left, I left one. 
Show it one more time so we can get a full screen on that. Oh, very, wow. very nice. Very nice. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, um, so I left one on. Okay. So I can reveal it today. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we got to reveal, people. I love yes, reveal. Yes, there we go. All right. <laughs> okay. So I just... Kathleen, uh, we can't see you. You got to lower the camera. Lower the camera, son, or oh, move over. A little more. There we go. All right, there you there go. You go. Okay. All right. Can you see it now? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Okay. So then I just take the um, take the paper and peel it back. Nice. There you go. More movie magic. There you go. Nice. Very nice, Kathleen. Uh-huh. Yeah. She makes yeah, me yeah. want to do okay. some of those. <laughs> Say, that Say that again. I said, makes me want to do some of those, Kathleen. All right. Uh-huh. Yeah, so I like those. So it's a little sticky, and I want it to dry so that I don't um, mess up the image. And, it and then you put that well, in the oven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so then I'm going to put it on one of these backings. Okay. Oh, okay. And this, yeah, and um, yeah. So then I'll tr I'll put it onto the backing, mm -hmm. onto this. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to. This this particular one is raw clay right here. Mm -hmm. These I have already cured. Oh, okay. So, so do you so you cure it before you put it on the back end? Often, that's what I do. Often. Okay. This time I'm thinking that I might um, put it on the raw clay first. Okay. I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Well, it looks beautiful, Kathleen. Yeah, it turned out nice, huh? Mm-hmm. No, I think I'm going to uh, wait. And let it dry some. Well, I think I'm going to uh, cure this first. Oh, okay. Let's see. This, this one, I think, is too small for the size of this. It won't get everything mm. on it. Mm. Yeah, it it won't get everything on. Okay. But this one will. Mm -hmm. So I, I think right. I'm going to cure it first. Okay. Well, those turned out beautifully. Yeah. So you felt yeah, much better. Nice. You, you felt really yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was sorely disappointed yesterday. We know. Did you tell? <laughs> it was very visible. It was very visible to all of us. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, it was sorely disappointing. Now there's some um there's some it feels like there's some paint or some copy left on this. Mm -hmm. The paper that I just peeled off. Mm -hmm. So I'm rubbing it onto the um on oh, the, the raw one. The raw one. And we'll see what happens. If you get another transfer, you might. You might. Because it's got a lot of color on it. So how long did you yeah. leave those on, Kathleen? Did you just rub so them and then I, take I timed this time I timed it. Mm -hmm. And um the one that I peeled off first, this one, mm -hmm. it was on for three hours. 
Okay, okay. And um, this this one that I just peeled off on screen, I started it at 3.30 this afternoon. Okay. And so I just peeled it off now. So it looks like there might be um, another transfer on it. It looks like you can get yeah. more than one. Oh. Hmm. So this is our all nighter, eh? Yep. All night. I've been mapping out what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> Mapping out the different things I'm going to try to cover stay, so I can stay um, busy. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. You got things that you're going to do? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that worked out nice, didn't it? Uh huh. And that was just, uh, just a few minutes, you see. Right. That was just in a few. If you had, it probably would have been even darker if you had left it, wouldn't it? It might have. Mm -hmm. and, that looks uh, nice. But now you know I'm you can to, use it more than once. Yeah, so I'm going to use this, the second one. I'm going to transfer it onto white tape, a white clay, and see how that goes. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So now it's nice to know you can do more than, use it on more than one. Well, at least with, with this one, I wonder if it's the intensity of the color on the picture. The well, all of his colors I've, are pretty, right? All of his colors are pretty intense, though. The transfers I've done before haven't produced the same kind of, of ability. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to get some um, white clay and see what it does. Okay. Oh, we had a question. It says, beautiful Kathleen, what did you put on the clay to make it adhere? Nothing. Just a, just transport the um, copy on top of it. And rub it on. Now, how come you don't uh, make it thicker and just use it as its own as opposed to putting a backing on it? I'm going to have to put a backing on it at some point to finish the back. No, I'm saying how come you just don't make the white thicker as opposed to having to put a backing on it? Because I'm going to have to put a backing on it anyway. Really? Well, that's why I'm asking you, why do you have to put a back in on it? To make a finished piece. Oh, right, because you wrap around it. You do a wrap around. Say that the again? Edges. You, you let it wrap around the edges, correct? Um, yes, yes. Mm hmm Let 
mean, most jewelry has a backing on it. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it? Are you talking about the clip? No, I'm talking about any kind of jewelry has any kind of pendant piece or pen mm -hmm. or brooch. It has a back, has it, it has a backing on it. Has a back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, this is the dancer I just took off. Can you see? Mm -hmm. And I, I've made these small ones. I wanted to uh, do the small ones first to see how they how they transfer before I do the bigger pieces. Since the smaller pieces use less clay. Right. Okay, let's see how this comes. Oh, you didn't leave it. You didn't let it sit on. You just took it right off. Very nice. Yeah, the, these images are a lot stickier than the, than the ones I've used in the past. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't know why. So... Um, So here, here's what it looks like. Oh, okay. Very nice. That turned so out really is, nice. So this is the original, if you will. Uh -huh. It's very and vivid. Is, yeah. But that one looks really nice too. Uh -huh. Yeah, it does look okay too. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't know why these are so sticky. Mm. Like I said, the ones that I've done before, like this one. Uh -huh. And I've done multiples of, of this particular one. I transferred, uh -huh. I also um, made a black and white copy of this. Oh, okay. And I'm um, transferred the black and white image. The um, image when it transfers is is dry and uh -huh. peels right off. These uh, you can't. I don't know if you, the camera can pick it up, but these have uh, 
like a wet surface on it. Hmm. Which is, like I said, which is different than the, than the other ones that I've done. So, um, like I said, usually it, I um, put the backing on first and then I cure it because that would give me the um, shape. But I hesitate to touch this because it's, it's wet. Like I have touched this a couple of times and my fingerprints are on it. Huh. And I had the copies printed mirror reverse so that LaShawn's signature shows up in the right order. But it's not legible anyway. Okay, so I'm going to um, I'm going to try this the second one, the copy of the copy. I'm going to see how I can um, get it onto this backing. Without the uh, the ink is coming off on my fingers. Oh, now I don't know what to do about these heart boxes because if the small ones, the ink keeps coming off like this, it will be difficult to apply it to the um, to the surface of the heart box. Well, do you think maybe you have to let them dry a little bit? Maybe. Um, this, this one has been drying since 6.30. Mm -hmm. What time is it now? Two hours. Uh, yeah. So it, it's not dry in two hours. Mm. And like I said, the others that I've done, have, don't, they haven't done this. And you've used the same um, the same clay and everything, except the paper yeah. you're not talking about. Mm. And yeah, and even the paper, it's just regular copy paper. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe it needs to dry overnight then. Maybe. Maybe, we'll see. I'll let it dry overnight. And see if that makes a difference. Mm -hmm. But this one looks dry, sort of dry. I'm going to um, see if I can adhere it to this backing without without, without it getting all over your hands. Well, yeah, and, and messing with the, the image. So I'm going to um, use this 
liquid translucent. Actually, maybe I should use the bacon bond. Since the bacon bond will be more like glue. Probably what I need is more like glue so it doesn't slip around. I can reduce the possibility of um, messing up the ink surface on this transfer image. This is so odd. I've done this process multiple times and not have this issue. Yeah, this one's wet too. Um, so I, uh, uh, I think this is Michelle. She said maybe a spray varnish. I have baked gloss varnish without much issue though. I've never put it on wet clay before. Did you hear that Kathleen? Something about varnish? Yeah, that was Michelle. She said she's did a spray varnish and baked it without much issue, but then she says she's never used it on clay though. Wet clay. Has she used it on clay at all or some other? Um... Well, she just says she's never used it on wet clay, but your clay is not necessarily wet, it's just raw. Well, the, um, the image is, the, mm -hmm. the, ink is, the ink is wet. Right. The ink is wet, so I can't even press it down onto the um, onto the backing without it, without all the ink getting all over everywhere. Because even this, the, um, when I just tapped tap this edge, I don't know if you can see, but my fingerprint got onto this side. Um, you, you, you usually have gloves on, though. Um, Michelle said that, yes, um, she has used varnish on polymer clay. Um, she's never put it on raw polymer clay, but I have added to sculptures after brushing on glossy varnish parts. So, yeah. 
Um, that may be so. Um, I'm not going to do that right now because that would probably not ha be helpful. Mm -hmm. um, and I know some people use uh, varnish or they also use epoxy mm -hmm. and um, or resin. I tend to not use those things on my work. Mm -hmm. I would say let it let let it dry overnight and see what happens. Well, I'll let the other ones dry overnight. I think I'm just going to fire this one right now and see what happens. Oh, yeah. We can see what happens. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Yes. I'll do them both. I'll do the orange one. So since since my oven wasn't on, I have to let it now heat up. Oh, shucks. Hey, Frankie, how's it going? Oh, I'm good. Just here with my little home girl. My mm -hmm. rabbit. You see her? Oh, is that your rabbit? Yeah. That's a big rabbit. Hey. How big is she? We had we had a lot of rabbits, and that looks like a big rabbit. So is she potty trained? Define potty trained. Where she goes, she goes in like a litter box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I still find little pellets. Little pellets everywhere. No, is she that. chewing on your is she chewing on your electrical wires? All of it. That's why I <laughs> in I know we yeah, we had we had we've had several rabbits and they were um they chew up the electrical wire and all that. Yeah. And then the boxes my letters, my papers, let me open this up a little bit. Yeah, she likes to chew on my that's another problem. I'm sorry, I'm trying to, but I'm working on this. Oh, okay, nice, very nice. It's a very nice piece. I went with, um, thank you, I went with acrylic. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I, I watered down, uh, what do you call it? the pastel. Mm -hmm. So I paint with the pastel, but where is it? <clears throat> uh, in the end, I just wanted the hat to pop out a little bit, and I went over everything with acrylic. Mm. Look what I have here. Oh, is that hairspray, Frankie? Yeah, for my hair. <laughs> so I can do my hair. No, uh, that's by, what do you call it? What is it? My your fixative? Yeah. That's your fixative? Yeah. <laughs> mm hmm Mm-hmm. I need to just well tomorrow I'm going to Stop it, Frankie. <laughs> I was like, you know he was gonna say something. Yeah. You know he's gonna say something. Uh, go get you some real go get you some workable workable fix it. Fixing it. Uh, that's called ghetto fixative. <laughs> hey, we've all been there. 
Exactly. That's why you got to stop. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm finger painting this when I could be using a brush. I, I'm going to buy some uh, brushes and more stuff tomorrow. Oh, okay. He's going to get some fixing it tomorrow, Poncho. The real deal. The real deal. The higher end kind of the $4. Your artwork will thank you. <laughs> <laughs> He said, your artwork will thank you. It will be very happy. <laughs> team Frankie. We got a Team Frankie. Well, thank you, Miss I'm going to work on this one tomorrow. You see the mask on? Which one? Let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I'm going to work on that one. Oh, okay. Great. My final, my final punch. Ah, LaShawn is coming to the room. Mr. Beal. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. LaShawn's, hey, y'all. What's good, LaShawn? Hey, hey. Hey, Frankie, how you guys feeling? All right, how you doing? I'm good, I'm good. I saw that collaboration you did. Yeah, I saw your I saw your comment. Nice. Appreciate that. So LaShawn. Yes. Here's here's one of the pictures you sent. Where? Oh. Right there. Ah. Oh. Looks good. You see what I'm doing, Kathleen? No, no, I don't yet. Okay. There it is. Yeah, nice. Can you see him? What is that? Well, those are, are some of the um, canes I sent. Oh, yeah. Ryan's in the house. Hey, Ryan. Is that a vase, Sean? No, it's a sculptor. It's a sculptor. Oh, I see. I see now. Upside down, it looked like it was a vase. Yeah. And you already cured. What did the um? Did the cane pieces come cured already, or did you have to do that? They came cured. Okay. I forgot how I did it. I just wanted to let you guys know if you're out there in the gallery, you are going to be participating with us in 
this all nighter and you have not received your link yet is because you have not sent me um, your email address in the Creative Quarantines uh, Messenger. So if you are participating with us during this time, make sure that you send me your email address in the Messenger and I will send you the Zoom link. We'll be starting at, what was it, Poncho, nine o'clock? Nine o'clock. We will be starting at nine o'clock. The Zoom link will be opened at nine o'clock. And so we'll be looking for you guys to come and join in with us. So you still had time. You still have time to jump in. Send me your email address through the Creative Quarantines um, link. And then I will send you a Creative Quarantine Facebook page. I will send you the link, the Zoom link. So just letting you know. Come on, come on, come on. LaShawn, um, Queen Mother wanted to know what your sculpture was made of. It's made out of wood. Did you hear me? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. I have two of them. You saw the first one. This is the second one. I don't know if you can catch all that on the screen or not. Let's see. I'm going to full screen you. Well, we can see the bottom. Oh, you see the bottom? Let me just raise this. Yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. 
we are on day 27, people. How's everyone feeling out there? I'm feeling good. We know you feeling good. Does it feel like <laughs> day 20? Does it feel like day 27 out there to you all? Yes, it does. <laughs> You're feeling the day 27. I know Pancho is feeling 27 days. I watch his videos. Day 27.
Oh, yeah. I was like, that has to be Michelle. <laughs> Sorry about that. I muted my mic. <laughs> You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. What's up, Karen? Go get your coffee and we'll see you in a minute. <laughs> I can't hear you. I think your head, your what you call it, may not be hooked with the. Karen Y. Buster. I, did, I didn't get your email address to send you that Zoom link. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, cool. All right. I'm going to leave myself out so I can make my coffee. 
Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Karen, why Buster said, because she in the bed. <laughs> what would you say? What'd I you said say? I didn't get that email. I told her I didn't get that email address to send her that Zoom link. She said, because I'm in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Who is staying up with us? We're Me. staying up. We're staying up. But we got a couple of them I sent the Zoom link to. So I don't think far. I missed the whole time, but I'm going to try to at least be 3 a.m. Okay. All right. There we go. Michelle says she's going to try to do three, y'all. Well, I had this idea that I'd try, since I liked how the skunks came out, I, I know that it's often easier to paint three paintings at once with similar colors. So I'm trying to start three that I didn't even have plans for before today. There you go. There you go. Putting them out there. Started working on three at a time. Sounds like a little LaShawn Bill happening in there. It's totally in my comfort zone, though. <laughs> oh, Poncho's over there working it out. Yes, I am working on everybody's small uh, collaboration. I got one with Sean done. These just came in the mail today. I got all three of them done. Oh, wow. And then there's this one here. I guess everything that one, the, 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 the lights kind of, okay, there, there it goes. Oh, very nice. So Sean just said, see, this just arrived today. I thought I would start on those and get those out the way. Here's my second one. Oh, I like that. That's beautiful. And then this one right here is nice too, but I can't reflect it off of it. He just told me that was a guy behind her. Mm -hmm. Give her to that gaze. And Louise gave me one that looked like an alien. I did not. To a teenager and do something. It didn't look like an alien. <laughs> hey. It stumped me for a minute. I was like, what am I going to do with this alien? <laughs> hey, you're supposed to leave a little of me in there. Oh, I did. <laughs> It's going to be a little bit you. I assure you that. <laughs> Wait till you see what I do with it. I'm, I, that's what I want to see. That's the whole point. Concept, but I got one. Mm -hmm. It took me a while to come up with a concept, but I think I got one. Thank you. 
What you working on over there, Ryan? Um, well, right now it looks like jigsaw for saw, but hopefully it won't in a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll keep an eye on it. You still working, Frankie? Yeah. Oh, okay. LaShawn's busy. What are those that you're adding several different pieces, huh, LaShawn? So what are the long pieces, LaShawn? Oh, they're ceramic tiles. Can you, can you see the whole thing? I can't see, there we go. Oh, okay. okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. There is ceramic tile on it. So. Oh, okay. So you added some of Kathleen pieces and then some ceramic tile. Correct. Oh, okay. Yes, I want to do an assemblage, like my brother. <laughs> it's an assemblage. An assemblage. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> In an assemblage. <laughs> so, LaShawn, LaShawn, how did you adhere the polymer pieces to, the, to your uh, art piece? Well, I just licked them and stuck them on there. <laughs> you just did what? <laughs> and he just licked them and stuck them on. You did what? Yeah, I just carefully, I just licked them and stuck them on. That's a lick them. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's 
It's crazy glue, Kathleen. Uh huh. Okay. He's being. Did you hear me? Mm. Yeah, crazy glue. <laughs> uh huh.
A hey, Carol Gray. Unmute yourself. I don't see a uh, I don't see a microphone hooked to you, Carol Gray. There you, you go. Now you're part of the stream. <laughs> now I got another window to take care of, but we got you on Zoom. Hopefully some okay. other folks will come in. Okay. So just uh, relax. Yeah. So Louise, we got our Zoom open. It's probably not gonna probably not gonna make it live for a bit, but we got Carol Gray in the Zoom.
Hey, 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 y'all. Hey. Are we going to have to probably kill a couple of mics for a little bit till we get to this sound? Like, this is the first time we've ever tried to do two streams simultaneously. But welcome, Carla Jones, and welcome, Carol Gray. Thank you. Hi, Carla. Oh. <laughs> Come over there. We got four people in the Zoom session. Mm -hmm. There's Carla. How you doing there, Carla? What is Carla working on? Uh, what are you working on, Carla? I finished what I was doing because y'all took too long to let me in. <laughs> Man, Carla, I that just sent you with all that hand. means is start something new, baby. We're gonna be here That's all right. night. We're gonna be here all, <laughs> night, all night. Let's see. Very, you. very nice. Nice. Oh, yeah, like that's serious. Now, what did you do that with? Alcohol. Oh, you did the alcohol one. On yeah, tile. They, they now have copper, which is, I really, really like it. So I was kind nice. of. Very wow. cool. Well, I'm going to get my behind back over to the table. And we're going to hope some more people join us in the Zoom room so we can put y'all on screen. That's right. We're going to put you all on the screen. I know. I'm in there painting. Look. <laughs> Normally, I'm just at the computer. Today, I'm painting. Got my schedule going. I can take my gloves off now. Uh -huh, you better start back, girl. We still want to see well, you. Look, work. Maybe for a oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I can hear it from in here. I muted my mic. Oh, I muted myself over in our regular screen. Yeah, I'm going to just mute myself until I come into the Zoom room. Yeah. Although, if everybody else, um, if everybody else mutes, then y'all can still hear the music that we're playing. <laughs> right. Well, you know, when I ended up doing Poncho, I can hear the music playing. I just muted the, um, I muted the uh, tab. Got you. So when I'm in here. But right now I we don't, I don't, feedback. I don't hear any feedback, so we should be okay. Yeah. So. I'll be listening out for anybody else that zooms in. Okay. Sounds good. I guess I'll be I'll be hanging everywhere. <laughs> what are you working on down there? Oh, something is right here, so I can't see I can't see the um look at Ponch will be over there working. I'm gonna go over here and work too. Oh Karen's working, Karen's working it out. I see you over there working, Karen. Making you all dizzy with my mic, with my camera. Thank you. 
What you eating, Carol Gray? <laughs> um, curry vegetables with curry rice. Okay. My no, no meat day. Looks like Cheryl Foss is trying to hang in with us. Email me the link. Do I have your email, Cheryl?
Linda Johnson. How you doing, Linda? You got it. There hey, you go. Tacho, how are you? Doing good. You join in for all the ladies. Okay. So, how you feeling I'm today? Go to bed on y'all, huh? Nah, we still here. I know. I I love watching this show. Yeah, we just sit. Everybody's getting in their little groove. Yeah, I'm doing. So I'm gonna probably make these. Oh, I'm fantastic! I'm doing this one here. I would think about put this piece together. I might. Nice. So I said I'll go ahead. Since, since I'm on the art show, maybe I'll just make some pearls tonight. Well, there you I go. Just these up. Hang as long as you can. We are here for the duration. Ah, uh, I made some earrings. Right? Nice. Yeah, well, you've been rolling. Yeah, I put the earrings together before, you know. So I think I'll do the bees now. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm. How you doing? How you How you feeling tonight? I'm doing good. I'm about to take good. my butt back over to the table. <laughs> okay. So I'll be checking in with y'all. Okay.
Cheryl, your email is not working. Um, can you send it to my Facebook page? Because your email is not working. Y'all making me hungry. We got some of the people in the Zoom room eating. I need, I guess, I, need, I might need to take some food out or something. I know. You are echoing, Louise. I know. That's why I'm mean. I know that was me echoing. Sorry, no problem. I know they over there eating, and I don't know. <laughs> I'm not eating. No, no, they they not eating. It's one in particular, and that's Miss Gray, and Carol she's throwing down. Okay. <laughs> Sitting up here watching us, dog. Carol, you ain't right. You ain't right. I'm just gonna tell you. I'm just gonna look at you, and your cheeks are all a bubble too. Look at her. She is <laughs> Carol, I can't hear you. Your mic is off. You all a bubble. Can you hear me? Yeah. Um, yeah, I said I had to get it in, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Carol, she, Linda, your mic is, I can't hear you. <laughs> yep, I definitely have to, I have to hear yeah. Carol, you. Carol, you got to be in the cook for your husband today. <laughs> Carol, it all. She going to make me I warm up some soup. I am starving over here, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> I am starving. <laughs> Carol, okay, I'm starving yeah. over here. And Carol is over here. Well, Carol had to cook today for her husband. I had to cook. Yeah, he's sitting by the TV. He's got the remote in his hand. <laughs> okay, Carol, you say you set him up and left it. You like, there you go. Real good. There you go, baby. Okay. There you go. Got it. There you go, Carol. You, you, don't, you know how it's done. Carol says she got it in. All right, Cheryl. Hold on. Let me. Um, you are muted now. Press shift. Dude, I'm trying to turn you guys off right now.
Made me have to warm up some soup. <laughs> Or yeah, I got I got to do the same thing. Although mine is not mine is not um, echoing like yours, and I got both of my mics open. Oh, that's because you're on. I'm on one. I'm on one. Okay. What are you on? You're on what? You're on a. Uh, are you on two screens or are you on one screen? I'm on one screen. And you have, but you have two mics. Yes. Yeah, I have. No, I have mic, one but... mic. Right. So what are you doing? Different from me. I guess I got the lucky side happening for me, baby. I guess so. I got them both. <laughs> They're both doing the same thing. Same mic. No, no echo. You got both of your mics open? I only have one mic, darling. I know. No, no. I'm saying you, you're. I, well, you know what I think is happening? I think that Zoom is probably using my uh, built-in mic versus my wired mic. Right. Mm-hmm. I just can't check it right now. I'll probably hang up on everybody. Oh, you know what? Let me do, do, do. Let me see. Zoom preferences. Audio. No, it's using the same mic. No, that's what it's doing. It switched to the no, other mic. No, it's using the same mic. Where are you switching? Where's the preferences? I'm trying to. Um, when you go to the top of the screen, go to Zoom US and the preferences is underneath for there. And all your audio, video, and all that stuff is on the top of the screen. Okay, let me see. Audio. Let me see what it's using. I mean, you call me. You got a nice little studio downstairs. With nice, fresh, white walls. And she just looked like she got it going on. <laughs> I think that she. Hey, what's up, Deborah? I'm gonna have to meet Louise so she get us together. Um, tell Louise I got her package. Oh, she got your package finally. Mine probably gonna come the last day. I gotta check the uh, mail. LaShawn's came in today, but I just finished his. Okay. And I added all the pieces you sent me. You rolling, girl. Mm. What did the board? <laughs> I'm trying to catch up. Hold on. I don't know what you're doing, lady. I'm scared to open that package. Don't be scared. You might look at it and the and mine did too. The answer is gonna come to you immediately. I already know it. I can feel it. It's gonna come to you immediately. I know. Okay. 
Still got a little bit of echo. It's not bad as it was. Yeah. Stop eating. eating. Don't hate. Appreciate. It's gonna be a whole lot of eating going on between now and six o'clock. Share of the link. Carol is Cheryl. I got Carol in. Carol Frost. No, that's a Carol Carson. Now Cheryl Frost is trying to. She said, "I'm trying to hang with you guys." Who else did you? Was somebody else? We just left somebody named Carol. Where's that? Carol Carson just checked it. Where? On his, in the Zoom room. Oh, there she is. Hey, Carol. We got two Carols in the Zoom room. I see. Look, I keep raising my hand up and I keep forgetting I got my thing over on the other side so you can't see me. Right now, we don't know what's happening with you. Would you stop it? <laughs> <laughs> I, right now, I see everybody but you. Oh, that's a good Hey, Carol Carson, how are you? I was going to be over in my workstation. Yeah, that's what I thought she was going to do. I'm going to my workstation, but I'm going to give you something to eat. This is round one for me. I wasn't thinking about food till I saw Miss Gray eating. How's everybody doing over here?
Deborah. Yeah, it's causing some weirdness. Yes, you had to cut it off in between your sentences. Yeah, I'm trying to find out. Um, hold on. I mean, I'll go out and come back in. Laura, um, I'm going to send you the link for your sister. She wants to come into the Zoom. Laura, can you hear me? I'm going to send you the. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to email you the link for your sister because I don't have her email address. Because she wants to. Your sister wants to come into the Zoom. I can't. Which sister? Right here. What is her name? Eunicia. That's not my sister. Oh, that's not. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that's Buster. I'm sorry. Never mind. Never, never mind. Eunicia Buster. Eunicia, can you go to my Facebook page and um, send me a message and I'll send you the link on my Facebook page or either go to the Creative Quarantine Facebook page um, and go, uh, go to the Creative Quarantine Facebook page and then I can send you the link from there as well. But go to one of those pages and then I will check in with you to send you the link through Messenger. It's a buster. Oh, it's Karen's cousin. My cousin Karen. Karen but Karen Buster's not hanging out with us. She'll be here. <laughs> I have faith in her. You have faith in her? Did you hear that, Karen? Get we have faith in her. If Karen Bust is watching, get your butt up. Get in the room, Karen. Get in one of the rooms. Paint something, cut something. Stay with us for about an hour or something. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom in and on a different computer because I'm tired of trying to figure that one out. Miss, what is Miss Carson? What are you working on? Are those lampshades? Are those no? Lamp they are um, terracotta flower pots. Let me. Sh I'll show you a thing. Nice. Okay. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Very, very nice. Well, when you stay, How come I can't see? Once uh, Louise gets the, thing, the zone. Once Louise gets the thing, thing figured out, we're going to put y'all into the other stream too. Okay. Very nice. Did you say something, Deborah? Just don't take black like curry. Who but said that? Shoot, Poncho, you're going to have to do the shared screen, though. I'm just going to pull it up on another on, on another computer until I figure it out. Why was Karen sitting down in the cut? We mean right here. I'm right here. I know you wasn't on screen, though. I know I wasn't on screen. Uh, I got booted out That's for right. some reason. If you ain't on screen, you're suspect. <laughs> what? If I ain't on screen, you know? what? If you're not on screen, you suspect. You might be oh, napping. Oh, uh, Karen, what? Okay, let me see. You guys send me. Don't they? They they keep putting their emails in the uh in the links in here. Let me go and get all these people. Let me go pick up all these people. I have no idea where are where they're putting their email address. Well, we got four in the Zoom room so far. Well, well here's when Karen. Everybody is working or doing something. Everybody should be doing something. 
The girl got her, she got all her devices open at one time, even a 52 inch TV screen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, you guys should be getting those Zoom links. I sent them out to you. Hua, who is, <laughs> what's this one? That's a whoa. <laughs> Khabibi Ajanku wants to get in too. All right, Khabibi. Let me look, let me find Khabibi at the, I should have, um, Khabibi, do I have your email address? So will we be able to see everybody? Yeah, we're going to put them on screen. Okay. Hold on for one second. I might be able to get Khabibi from my end. Okay. Okay. There is Karen Buster. She didn't, she, she should be in. She came in. Yeah, Karen Buster's in. Okay. Buster's in. We got a couple people coming in now. All right. Karen Buster, that's right. Stop trying to act like you sleep. What's up, Miss Buster? We got both cousins in the same room. <laughs> that's right, y'all. This is very, very cool. Hey, 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 we got Khabibi Ajanku in the house, too. Hey. Am I trying to get on screen? Am I getting on screen? Oh, uh, look at it. She want to be on screen. I got to be on screen. First, you got to take you got to take your picture off, first of all. It's all you know about my Zoom. You don't need no Zoom instructions. It's all about Khabibi, y'all. I'm going to mute you till you figure it out, though. <laughs> All right, all right. Uh, we got more in the Zoom room than we got in the studio, y'all. Well, you know, we can we only wait, fit. We got more of our artists up. We can only fit. Uh, we got uh, nine Ryan screens Murray, going. That piece is looking fantastic, man. We got nine screens going, so uh, you can only fit one more. It's looking good, Ryan. Mm hmm. Karen then blanked out on us and put a picture up. Look at it. She all in love with that picture now. I've always been in love with that picture. <laughs> Karen, that's nice. That's the braids, aren't it? Isn't it? Nice. Say that again. Those are the braids you did the other day? Yeah. On her? Nice. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, my pinky's popping out. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Again. Oh, we can't just have stuff popping out. So I'm going to wait till you. <laughs> there it is. There it is. There it is. Yeah, I'm, sorry. I'm trying to get it together. Where is where my little Zoom thing? It's disappeared. Hold on. Let me pull it up again. Mm. 
Let me fix my phone too. Mm. I'm having I'm having Zoom issues. I'm going to go into the Zoom room for a second and have them help me title some pieces. So I'm, I'm going to take my microphone off for a sec. Well, that's going to kill the music. I'm just going to go over here. All right, Zoom room. I don't know if y'all can see this piece. This is a collaboration with me and LaShawn Beal. I need a title. It's a lady oh, holding a butterfly, and I put the lady behind her, another lady behind her. So I need y'all to come up with the best title for this piece that I haven't used in a thousand paintings. <laughs> so it might sound original to you, but it might not be original because I do a lot of work. There I go again. I suck at things. Uh, I think a lot of people do, but that's why I'm coming to y'all. So, cause I, I'm I, after creating all the work I've done, I'm running out of titles. I just and finished this one. Um, oh, the artists probably have the worst titles though, <laughs> because they used all theirs up. <laughs> Except for Lashawn. Lashawn <laughs> comes up with a nice one every now and then. He probably did. They won't let me name it. They won't let me title anything. Yeah, because you're going to put girls and butterfly. It is. Girls, girls, girls butterfly. with butterfly. I was yeah. thinking about uh, a woman into a butterfly, a butterfly into a woman, or the beauty of a woman. You know, those are not original. Come on. I've got, I got uh, how many people? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I almost got 10 people in the Zoom room. Okay. Um, how about moments? Eyes of a butterfly. He didn't want butterfly in it. Oh, he doesn't. Well, okay, all right. How about no, I, didn't, I didn't say that it couldn't have butterfly in it. Mm -hmm. You don't want eyes of a butterfly. There's so much. Eyes of a butterfly. Not, I mean, I not quite as close. Okay. How about mariposa? What's that? Uh, mariposa. Well, spell it. Uh, M A R I P O S A. I believe it's it's uh, French for butterfly. Or Spanish for butterfly, sorry. French for butterfly. Um, you know what? I was close until you said French, because ain't nothing French about this piece. <laughs> I meant Spanish. <laughs> Michelle's not even supposed to be in, in, in there. No, no, Michelle could be in there. This is a this is a whole group thing right here. Y'all got all all of everybody in both streams can see the same picture. Oh, they sure can. Okay. Let's take flight. What's that, oh, Karen? Cute. I like that. What you say, Karen? Let's take flight. Oh, I like that. Let's take flight. We're going to use that. Okay. Don't worry. I got some more. <laughs> I like that, Karen. Yep. Hey, up. Yes, ma'am. Look. You got a brush in your hand? Oh, Lord. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Karen Buster is the she's the exacto knife woman. She's not a brush woman. But I tell you, you ain't defined by no brush, no uh exacto blade. All right, y'all. I got another one for you. Another one with me and LaShawn. He put the lady in the purple face in and the flower, and I put the other face in. Not all at once now. <laughs> can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear um, you. I put it in the chat. You put it in yeah, the you chat. You put Lily of the Soul, right? Oh, uh, which chat? She put Lily of the Soul, I think. Lily of the Soul. I like that already. Cause that's a cow lily, right? Yep. I like that. That's a good one. Who did that? Who said that anyway? Yeah. Who did that one? Miss Buster. Go ahead, Eunicia. Thank you, babe. <laughs> Lily of the soul. You got it. All right. So that's two down. 
All right, this is a tougher one. Now, Louise put that little character on the uh, on the side, and I put the little character behind it with the sign. But notice that he's got a tear running down his eye. I should say My the character. I don't, say it again. My life's love matter. Close. <laughs> Too many words. I try to do less words. Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh, Say that again. Too much loss. Too much loss. Too deep. Too general. Willie of the soul. Who's that putting it down there for emphasis? Because every time I, I say something, no one hears me, so I've just been writing it in chat. Oh, no, that's cool. I, I'm watching it now because before, you know, I don't have my glasses on, so I was missing you. Oh, let right. me let me fix that problem like right now. I got glasses <laughs> all around here. I buy them in fives. Courage and tears. Hmm. Hey, hey, Pancho. You know what? If, if if I could work with you, I would like courage and tears. Oh, I like that too. Yeah. Thank you, Miss Buster. I thought you said you 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 sucked at titling. <laughs> or you or do you only <laughs> suck at titling your I own like, work? I like <laughs> no, I like using single words, but I like I like the words that have a whole lot of contextual meaning. That sounds I great. Think a lot on it. My only problem with that is I have literally a couple of thousand paintings out, and trying to come up with new titles is a redundant issue oh, for no. me. So some of the things I've heard before or written before, I, I love synonyms too. Yeah, I have to rely on them because of so much work, you know. Especially in a situation like this, where we're creating a large body of work at one time. So, but thank y'all. That 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 was. Oh, I got one more. This one might be harder to see though. Okay, so Lashawn did the woman in the middle of the page and on the set up side of the page, and I put a guy in there just gazing at her. We are admittable. Ill admittable, is that what you're saying? Um, maybe I didn't spell it right. That's all right. I'm horrible to spell it. Why don't you just say the gays? All right, who said that? Deborah Shetty coming out the left field with a title? That's the title right there. I love it. The gays. <laughs> Oh, thank you, sir. That was fantastic. You said it first. No, I didn't. Did I? I sure did, didn't I? Guess I wasn't listening to myself. It's the 27. All right, I got a tough one for y'all. I might not even be able to show it to you. All right, uh, the other day I did a digital piece in my computer, but it measures 40 inches. So I had to do a smaller print of it. And it's a uh, tough piece to title. Uh, I will tell you that I'm, I am pursuing some Afrofuturism pieces, whatever that means to you. All right, so. I put that in your chat. I don't know what happened to it, but I've tried to look for it in your Facebook page. Did you put something on my Facebook page? I did. I, I, I couldn't remember if I put circle in the world or something. I went back to your Facebook page and I couldn't find it. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Yeah, that's that's the website. Yeah, I saw it. That's what I put. I don't know if I said circle in the world or something. Yeah, I saw it. 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 Yeah, I saw it.
Somebody put hair topia. Wow. I like that. Somebody put wisdom woven in flight in a world. Oh, okay. You put in a whirlwind. Oh, okay. I, I can't remember what it was. Hairtopia. I don't know, y'all. Hairtopia sounds pretty good, huh? Hairtopia. Yeah. Are y'all giving up on this one? Is this a I'm, not all that into hair I'm not all that into Hairtopia. All right. What you, what you got? So far, Hairtopia sounds good, though. Cause it's a world it is about oh, hair and if you notice there's an earth uh -huh. it's an earth in the background oh, okay no i'm trying to find i'm trying to find I'm, I'm trying to find this spam so i could take it up i like to look at y'all faces while y'all trying to come up with these titles y'all i know they have very interesting facial expressions Five, Sorry, I'm in the middle of teching. Four, three. Oh, hair topia it is. Two. Mm hair -hmm. topia it is. Thank you, ladies. Where is this? So I'll get a chart. I get a charge out of right now. This is our sheets that we have to use. I may be better if I turn the right side up, right? Um, tracking all of our pieces that we create. And I do get a bit of a charge by filling mine out right now. I am on number 47. Mm. <laughs> But the ones you are just titled take me up to 50. So thank you very much. And LaShawn, thank you for sending these, man. They came on time. I thought, oh, I, was gonna, quite, I, thought I was gonna miss them. Yeah, you're quite welcome. As usual, I, as usual, I like what you did with them. Thank you, brother. I can't believe it, y'all. I got Karen Y. Buster out the bed. That's not a hard sister. That's a hard sister to get out the bed. I'm, I tell you. <laughs> and 
We 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 ain't say you gotta stay up late. <laughs> Who said that? Oh, you were about to go to sleep too? Well, hey, y'all, you know, it is that time of night. We're the only ones crazy enough to be up this time of night. <laughs> but now we got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six plus the, the eight people on the other side. But we all can't be all crazy at one time, can we? Is that possible? Everybody know I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Who is that? This, this. I give up on me. All you gotta do is keep it off. I know that's gonna be hard for you. I know, I know and not. I know <laughs> not talking for for a couple of hours is gonna probably make you fall out on the floor. No, actually, it wasn't because I wasn't talking for a couple of hours already. I mean, for a while. All right, okay. uh, people in the Zoom room, I gotta okay. keep y'all entertained. This is a assemblage piece I did finish this morning. It's actually one of my casted masks. It's uh, a mask that I cast it and it had some problems, you know? So what I did was I covered it with embossed paper and painted it up, gave it some texture and added those leaves, which I found in the alley somewhere. And I kept saying I was gonna use them and never did. So I cut them off, one piece, there you go, boom. Oh, that's really cool. Thank, I figured you would like that, Michelle. I do. I love the colors, too. Thank you. What you doing over there, Karen? Uh, I got too many currents on now. What you doing over there, Karen Clark? Wow working that is looking real serious thank you your piece is amazing thank you darling you know i got a, i got some people watching me oh that's gorgeous thank you looking good karen thank you the show why sound like he's standing in my backyard <laughs> what, what, color, <laughs> what colors are you going to be glazing? Or are you uh, going to glaze it? Uh, what yes, colors are you I going am, to glaze it? Uh, this is going to, everything is going to be black and white with pop of color from um, Kathleen's polymer clay. Oh, wow. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm checking out this unorthodox framing style that LaShawn is showing us today. What you hot, you hot gluing off of a, off of a tray, a, a pencil case. Yeah, that's just the weight. Oh, the pencil tray is your weight. Right. What do you mean hot gluing? 
Yeah, I'm tacking it down with the hot glue that I come back with some other glue. Well, y'all got gadgets. I got to give me some gadgets. Fonso, what program did you use to make your digital painting? Photoshop. Oh, nice. I think we lost somebody in the Zoom room. I guess Khabibi couldn't figure out how to get her her thing operating. Yeah, her video wasn't working. How come I don't see your name in the list in the Zoom room? What did you do? What you done did? There she is. I am. I want to get on using my other device. Uh, you got till six in the morning to figure out how to do it. Yeah, I need a link. I uh to get it. You already in. Um, I'll send the link to you on Facebook. Well, I, the same invitation I just used that you just came in on, you can use it on your other device too. You just have to open your other device up first. <laughs> now, this is a person who Zooms every day, and I'm giving them instructions, so I'm going to get back to work. She's over there trying to be taken. At least she, uh, everybody's muted. So she'll, she'll figure it out. But just pull it up on your other machine and I'll send you another invitation. Uh, you stopped echoing, Louise. What'd you do? I muted everything. Oh, oh no.
Okay, here you go. Uh, I got something for you people to see in the Zoom room and in the uh, artist room. All right, so a friend of mine he started send, he, giving me these organites. I don't know if you ever heard of organite. The organite is a crystal. It's got um, leaf. It's got copper, silver. And this is supposed to regulate um, good energy around your space. So you put them around the studio, any place close to you. And it's supposed to be a, a wellness cleanser of sorts. Mm -hmm. I have a couple of them on my workstation. Here's a smaller one. And so what I did was made one out of a mask. So it might not show up too well here, but it's actually an African mask. It has some of the same properties in it. You can't see the crystal from here, but it is a crystal on the inside. All of the same things in that pyramid are in this space. So I finished this today. It's beautiful. And mounted it on um, a piece of loose side. I went to a plastic company and they sold me some at a very good price. Well, I look forward to coming up there and working with the resin. I'm this so very happy. Heavy. It's a very heavy piece. In weight, not in mm -hmm. mean. <laughs> nice, mm -hmm. nice. I like it. You're gonna hang it? So shiny. Are you gonna hang it? Yes, I'm gonna hang it. I did four more, I just gotta mount them. And I can't wait to make my next batch because I got some more um, different types of metal I can use. So, uh, well, don't do it right now. Wait until after day 30. No, no, stop. Stop worrying like I'm going to lose an arm or something. We're going to do it. <laughs> All right, now. Don't play now. He said she is ready to start doing some casting. Man. That looks nice, Miss Johnson. All right. There you go. How much you going? How much you charge for something like that, Miss Johnson? Oh, uh, she said she don't know. Oh, Lord have mercy. Uh, Carol Gray, you got some nice looking pieces on that back wall back there. Look like you got a pretty nice art collection back there on that wall. I do. Nice stuff. <laughs> and it's all, it's all nice stuff. Okay. Well, tell Miss Gray I said hello. Uh, yeah, uh, we're going to phase them all into the. Uh, I'm waiting for uh, Louise to get her uh, tech stuff together. So we can bring them over to the other side for a little while. Okay. Karen Buster looked like she just forgot all about sleep. That's what I'm what? talking about. You know, like that's some amazing. She got the light. She got the work with. light on her table and everything. And Carol looked like she would be up working this time of night anyway. She looked all comfortable. Got her stuff flipped around. And Miss Buster, the other Buster, said she was going to sleep, but now she looked like she is all in it. Got her headphones set in. Mm. Yeah. Concha, bring me in the other one. Which one are you bringing in? Bring you in. Bring in my other uh, person. Where at? I don't see another one. Says your oh, I got you. I got you. <laughs> oh, I got you. I don't even see a microphone on your Zoom side, Louise. Uh, if we get disconnected or everybody's uh, computer burnout, it's because of Louise. She's tinkering over there. All right, anything, anything could happen. <laughs> you can't hear me now. That's that's you, and you're not there echoing. You what you do? I switched. I was like, I'm tired of trying to figure it out on this computer, so I switched. So you switched to the computer, the computer sound. Yeah, I'm on a different. I'm on two different computers now. Oh, okay. So I'm tired of trying to figure it out. So when I take your microphone off your other side, you should be fine, then, right? 
I hear a little echo already. You hear echo now? Yeah, I got a slight delay echo. What about now? Well, you sound excellent on the Zoom side. Not so I good on the other side. Hold on. No, you good. I don't know if I'm listening to you through Zoom or not yet, though. What? I hear you through Zoom, but not. Uh, I had to meet you on the other side because you was creating an echo in the studio. I know. It's weird. It's weird that I'm still echoing and I'm on a totally different system. I'm actually on a. Uh, I'm on a Mac and a what you call and a um what is it? I'm on uh, a why, Mac well, and a why, PC. Why you figure that out? I'm gonna finish two more pieces. Well, let's bring them in. We bring everybody in. Bring everybody in. Are you gonna bring them into the other side? Oh, I got you. Just uh, go to go to the stream share. Mm hmm. Go to screen share. I'm going to walk you through it. Michelle's phone went out. Kathleen doing down there. Kathleen is, is still she, she's still doing good. You know, normally her phone runs hot. Oh, she's on the what you call it now though. Yeah. She said it's her phone died. She's gonna let it shut down and restart. Hold on, let me see. And can you see the device died too? Oh, okay. Uh, I think I might know what. Are uh, you driving the artist in the studio crazy trying to get it It's. I'm not even sure how why it's doing that. That's obvious. Would you? Okay. You know what? <laughs> so I'm going. I'm going to meet you in the studio because they they can't be distracted. Your pops on. I don't. I don't. You don't? Okay. Mm -mm. So your sister giving you some advice that might help. Whatever. So tell me, how y'all related? Y'all sisters, but who's the who's the uh the who's the youngest of the two? She is. She the baby. I you know what? Now it all makes sense. That one sentence. Thank you for clearing up. Now I'm understand. You understand what? I understand now. She just explained it all in one sentence. You are the youngest of all the kids. No, I'm not. Uh, I got, I'm the youngest girl. She's a girl. I'm not a baby girl. Same difference. I'm a youngest daughter. Got the note. I'm looking at Linda's face while you, you're doing all this uh, associating. You can look at her all you want to. Karen! Oh, we got two Karens on the screen, so you got to be specific. Miss Clark. Yes, baby. Little baby girl out of the group. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to leave the studio. Watch this. Watch this. Catch that. Okay, you'll be back up. The host is muted. Look at her being all sensitive. Tell Linda, talk to her baby sister. <laughs> Good job. Did you log out for real? Ooh, you know logged what? out. Ooh, she is performing tonight. Work. 
get to work. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm about to go over here and do some work. All right. Can't be talking all night long. Well, we talking and working. I think it's the speakers thing. I think it's the speakers that I had up. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, somebody say something. Let's see. Something, 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 something. <laughs> okay, say something else. Something, 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 something just ain't right. You got that right. <laughs> I know. It's Louie's computer. Something, something. All right, now Louise, I got one down. Well, half seventy eighty five percent down. we we no. I'm talking about I'm 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 doing my work. I need you to come on here. I'm headed over there right now. All right, get to work. I don't want to have to finish all five. Yeah, I'm gonna turn them all over that way. Yeah. All right, I got two cameras. Both turn to the work. You know, she got all this good technology and it's jacking up. I know. It's working against me. I know. Now I can't hear anything. All right, Poncho, you gonna bring him on the screen? You ready yep. for me to walk you through it? I was ready. Basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna just share the screen. All right, share the screen. And go to application window. Application, no, you're talking about on the, uh, am I going to share screen from the, okay, nope. I got you, man. I got right, you. From, from StreamYard. All right. Yep, got it. All right, I can do application window and you should see it. There, there they are. Where are they? Right yeah. here. Can you guys see us? Wait a minute, hold on. Hey, bring hey. up. Hey, Eunicea. It hey, is the gallery. Look at you guys. Is anybody yeah. saying anything? I'm saying something. Yeah, they all they all kind of mute, muted down. Oh, well, unmute them so they can say something. Hi. Hi. Hi, <laughs> Hi everybody. That, what happened? Hello. Poncho turned them off. There they go. There's the crew. This is pretty exciting. This is the first time we've ever done this. Yes, we have. This is the first time, and we haven't blown nothing up yet. Hey. <laughs> Not yet. All Not right. yet. All right, I'm going to let this piece chill, and I'm going to the second piece. Uh, Louise, come on. I'm going. I'm on. I'm heading over to my section. All right. All right. I'm gonna turn this one over. I'm gonna turn this over here so I can see people. Okay, and I'm going to wrap this piece up so that I can go to the next one. That way I can at least see the people, some of the people. Mm-hmm. Oh, let me see. I'll let you guys. I'm going to let them see this piece. Let's turn this light over here. 
And then I'll let you guys see it in a minute. In a minute. Uh, Louise, you still ain't got your sound together yet, so we're going to need you to talk less. What? <laughs> You're still echoing. It's not echoing over here. Normally, I can hear it. I don't hear an echo on my end. Right. Where am I echoing? Because I don't hear an echo. I'm not echoing in the family. Are you sure? Because I don't hear it. All right. If they don't hear it, then I guess it's on my side. Isn't this beautiful? All these beautiful people just painting. So I'm going to show them this piece. Hold on. Let me put it on here. So they can see it on here. Yeah, I'm going to show them the black, this piece on here. Can you see it? You guys see the resin piece? No. I'm sorry, the Zoom, everybody on Zoom. Yeah. You can see it. So I'm going to put it on that black board. Huh? You right there? They said it looked neat. Oh, okay. Can you they, guys see it, Karen? Not close up now. Here, let me see if I can blow my. Oh, here, Poncho. Right can you, Poncho? Can you make the screen bigger? Uh, no, I can't make their screen bigger. Let me see. Maybe I can. Hold on. In Zoom. <laughs> Yeah, let me let me broaden it out. Wait, because I can't um I the other camera I can't bring this far over. Cool. Hey LaShawn. I'll bring you I'll I'll get the other camera. Let me get the other camera. All right, I'm gonna point this one. <laughs> hey Karen, what's up, boo? I'm oh wait! Good. Do we have nine people? How many people we have? Boop boop! Because I might be able to just put it on here on the other screen. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I'll just put it on the other screen on on my phone, so you guys can see it. Pancho, she got too much technology in her studio for me. Have mercy. I'm just trying, I want you guys to see it. I want to see it. Goodness, Karen, you're supposed to be my butt. You are my butt. <laughs> I'm right with that. I'm rolling with you. I'm, I'm here. I'm here. Okay, all right. Okay, here he goes. Okay, let me turn the camera around. Right, you see it? Can they see it, Pancho? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey. No. I see something on an easel. Wait, okay, it's right here. Look, okay, so there it is. You know what? I gotta put my glasses on so I can see what you're talking about. Can you guys see it? Oh, the thing on the easel? Uh-uh. Why do you have to make it bigger? Hmm. Well, he's talking, but I don't think he... Um, 
Uh, I can't hear him. Okay. Where is he? Is he talking? He's Where saying is some, he may be saying something, but I don't know what he's saying. That's because she removed me from the stream. I removed no, I, no, I did. <laughs> you did. All right, here, show. Okay, I'm gonna show it. Show them, okay? Here it is. Can you show us and not talk? Come on, Joe. She's got a resin piece that she's working on. It's in the middle of the screen. It's got a black background with a figure. Unfortunately, with you all inside the stream, we can't make it larger. You can't enlarge her? No. No, when we're showing a share in the screen, you can't enlarge. Mm -mm. Well, take them off and put them back on. There. Okay, here we go. I'm going to show you now. And then we'll put them back. There it is. It's nice. It's beautiful. Really nice. Really, really nice. I like it. Okay. There Looking you go. good. Looking it's good. Looking good. Nice. We're not sure. I'm still people. glad we got that out the way, y'all. Yeah, I am too. <laughs> really, people? Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> I will tell you, the people that I'm with. But I understand it now. You're the youngest girl. You know what? I get it. The next time, the next time you guys want to do an unveiling, see if I watch. <laughs> uh, so, so y'all telling me nobody can hear an echo but me? No, well, I'm not echoing. Yes, you are echoing, darling. I can hear an echo. Who hears an echo? Everybody hear can hear echo. your echo. Carol Gray hears an echo. Let's put it this way. Nobody else is echoing but you. <laughs> I only hear the echo every now and then. Like when she talks? What? Am I echoing now? Yes. Hey, Pancho, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, Kabibi said send her the link because she hasn't received the link yet. She it's received the same the link. link. She received the link. I said, keep sending it to her. She said her phone burned out. Hold on, I'm trying. Oh, to okay. It. All right. That's weird that I'm still echoing. All right. That's weird. I don't hear an echo on my end. Who hears an echo on their end? I said I don't. I don't hear. It. Right. I don't hear any echo. Normally, sometimes, I hear the echo. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. When you were trying to show us. That's because I was on that other phone. That's Eunicia says she's you echoing in her ear too. Who is Eunicia? Miss Buster, the second. Oh, 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 <laughs> on the Zoom. Uh, uh, uh. See, this is what I deal with on a daily basis, y'all. Have mercy, Lord. But I understand. You know what? I understand it now. You see how Pancho? You see how he acting when he got a crowd? <laughs> He got that whole Zoom audience and look at how he treats me. You see that, Karen? I see you, it. We can't stand here and you echo all night. <laughs> I'm not echoing all night. You are right now, darling. I'm serious. Yeah, but I can't. I, I normally could hear the echo. Um, We're not going to play with what you can hear. You are echoing to everybody right now. So fix it. <laughs> Okay. How come I can't hear the echo then? Normally I can't. Okay, you can't hear it on the other one. You just hear it on the I don't hear it, but well, maybe on the other one. Please. I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm loving that pizza, Bora. Oh, thank you. You can see it? Yeah. I think I want to leave the, um, let me, let me pull this up. Tell me what you think. I want to leave the, um, the lips, the nose, and the eyes black. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Nice. Yeah. Mysterious looking. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna leave those black. I'm trying to evolve. You are. Yeah. <laughs> you got a name for it? Don't press it too hard. Have one. How about how about mixed identity? Oh, I like that. That's nice. I'll use it. Everybody does I won't forget. Thank you, sir. Quite welcome. Pancha, what are you working on? I am uh, working on a new image on some textured paper. Okay. So I'm just carving out a couple of uh, figures in it. John, what are you working on, John? Me? Oh, I just finished doing some framing. Yeah. So okay. uh, I did quite a bit today, so I, I think I'm, I'm pretty much spent. <laughs> oh, you better not go to sleep. I know. <laughs> ladies, ladies, I have I have to be out the house at six a.m. in the morning. Oh, okay. For some appointments. I and on top of that, it's my birthday tomorrow, too. Oh, my gosh. Are you ready for your happy, happy birthday song? Birthday. Can I sing it to you at 12? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to sing your birthday song at 12 o'clock. Be ready. I'm not going to hear it, boo. I'll be, I'll be snoring then. Oh, man. <laughs> Do you want me to sing it right now, then? Yeah, you go ahead and sing it now. I'm about to sign off in a little while here. Okay. So somebody taught me this song. Okay, so happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You look good. You look fine. I hope you're having a real good time. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, LaShawn. Oh, that was lovely. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Well, Happy folks, birthday. I'm going to. Thank you. It was nice, Karen. Thank you, Deborah. Okay. Guys, I'm going to see you tomorrow. All right. Bye. Good night. Good night. Okay. Later, LaShawn. Now, in case y'all wondering if why we not paying no different music, it's because we have to play copyright free music.
I was wondering about that music. Well, let me tell you this. After 31 days of it, it is stitched in my brain. It is 1120. Let me check and see how my people is doing in the other room over there. Look at y'all. Y'all looking all fresh and new. It's 1121. Nobody's blinking and leaning. Nobody has their avatar up like they still awake and sleep. The girl is working the Mod Podge. Woo! Y'all got it going on. And Karen Buster, I don't know what she's doing with that paintbrush, but she's been doing it. For <laughs> Go ahead, Karen Buster.
Me out. You're really weird. Well, we are asking it to do some stuff we haven't asked it to do in a while. Hi, you ladies holding up in the Zoom room. I mean, they hanging. Look at them. I don't know. They got the yes glue out. Well, she got yes glue and hot my podge. And Miss Gray looked like she just tuned in. I don't know. I don't understand how it's happening. And 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 it's all women in the in the Zoom room. What is the deal with the where the guys at? They sleep. sleep. They sleep. sleep. Exactly. 
Hey, Karen, hold up what you're working on. I'm just, you know, I'm curious. Karen Buster. You know, I'm curious. Uh oh, she's moving lights. So she's making, she gave me a whole presentation. <laughs> Go ahead, Karen. Well, that. No, no, you got to point it towards the piece or turn it off for a second. There you go. Nice. Very nice. What is that? Etch wood? Yeah. And you just painting it now? Yeah, I'm painting it. I'm painting it now. Nice. I, I have to focus on using the brush. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. This, this is definitely not my thing. I, 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 I. There you go. You already done put yourself in the box already. It's not a matter of what's your thing. It's about what you're working on and bringing it to completion. This is what I'm working on. And Thank you. Go there you go. That's a good correction right there, Karen Buster.
You ready for the queen?
It's so wonderful watching everybody work. It gives me energy, but it makes me hungry too. I gotta find some more food. Hey, Karen. Karen Clark. I got, you know, I haven't had many desserts lately, but I got a wonderful piece of uh -huh. butter pound cake. I want some. Where you get that from? I ain't got, how I had time to make a cake. I said somebody. I'm sorry. What you say again? I said did somebody <laughs> make. No, I bought this from the deli. Oh, we have a popular good. deli in Baltimore called Admins, mm -hmm. and I stopped there this morning to get me a. Uh, a lox sandwich, a lox bagel. I love lox and bagel. I know. I had that spot we went to in Virginia, down in Richmond. Yeah, I love lox and bagels. Lox and bagels and eggs benedict are my two favorite breakfast. I recall. Did it have capers? Yeah. Yes, gotta have capers, baby. Without capers, oh man, it's the best. <laughs> I'm jealous. Thank you. 
<laughs> Michelle. Mm-hmm. I used to live up in Providence. Oh, in Providence? Up there. Or yeah. And um, I was going to say is that, you know, I can't find a good bagel or a good slice of pizza. Or good beef. You know? Not like that. My friend lived in Providence, and when I would visit uh, them, they had the best food. <laughs> yeah, it. Oh my god! But they had some really good food because I used to hang up in Cambridge a lot, and the mm -hmm. food was good there. There is an Ethiopian place in Cambridge that is one of the best restaurants as I uh, restaurants that I know. Oh really? Yeah. Wow. I think technically mm. it's Eritrean, but I think that they are under the Ethiopian uh, at the, uh, uh -huh. like, if you look them up. Yeah. Wow. I love, I love that. I love that. Um, uh, I love that. And they have the traditional seating with the shared um, oh. injera. Really? Wow. Mm -hmm. Probably not right now, though. Asmara, that's what it's called. Um, and the people that run it are lovely. I bet. I bet. My husband's family actually lives in Cambridge. So we go out there a lot. It's all of that. Or, oh, I used to love being up there. But don't I move back. You guys don't have uh, the seasons are up enough. Yeah. So. I hate that around here. Are you born in, in, um, um, in New England? Yes, um, but not in Western Mass. Uh, I was uh, born in Eastern Mass, um, and uh, and I lived a little bit of time in Connecticut, but uh, the rest was all um, Eastern until I was an adult, and I moved out to Western Mass and just fell in love the mountains out here yeah, and yeah. everything. The scenery oh, wow. takes my breath away. It's it's like living in an oil I can, painting. I can believe that. <laughs> it's so pretty up there. Yeah, but I always I, I fall back in love in the spring, and I'm like, why would I ever want to move? And then every year around November, I just am like looking up places to live that are not here. <laughs> <laughs> it tricks you. It tricks you.
I thought I heard a thud sound. Did we hear our first thud? Did we hear our first thud sound? No. No thuds. Uh, Sheldon is hanging in there. I think that is me. Huh? Yeah, I get, got kicked out a couple times, but I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, Sheldon is still in the house. I even see Kathleen back at it. Where is he? Oh, hey. Back in my hour. What you working on, Deborah Shedrick? Show me what you're working on. Slim. I'm gonna work on this piece. Can you see her? Yes. Some plexiglass. Oh, really? Cool. Are you reverse painting or painting on the front? On the front. Because okay. I'm going to attach it to a piece of canvas. Okay. I'll see, I'll see you guys in an hour. All right. We ain't going nowhere. We'll be right here. You heard me? Carol Carson, no big Can you hold one up so that everybody else can see it? She's painting flower pots, y'all. I don't, oh. I don't see the Zoom folks. No, you can't yeah. see the Zoom folks, but I'll see if I can get them in real quick. Yeah, hear me. Okay, now take a look. I'm going to finish this one when I come back. Oh, cool. That's so cool. Isn't Did that neat? Are you gonna, what are you going to plant in them? He said, what are you going to plant in them? Well, I, um. Hey, we can hear you. Okay. What? Well, I started painting these as like tons of They went viral. And I have, um, I'm about on my fifth wave list, and I have about seven or eight. Fantastic. That's awesome. Very, very cool. It happened two weeks after I quit very, my job. Very cool. Ah, I love a success story. That's awesome. Two weeks after you quit your job. What do you, what do you sell them for? Well, I found out that it's too low. It's the Paragon for two bucks at the These are 65, and then the smaller ones are 40. I think that made me whack out with the way on Ah. Well, you know, we all got to start somewhere, right? Yeah. But I can tell by your face, you know, it's still too low. Oh, yeah. Got to be oh, yeah. brave. Got to be brave. Ask her, ask her where she's from. Where are you from? Yes. I am, I am from um, originally from Opelika, Alabama. That's where my studio is. Opelika. No wonder Deborah know all about you. <laughs> very, very cool. Uh, uh, what are you doing up there, Carla Jones? Let me see if I can unmute you. Unmute you. Bye, y'all. All right, see you later on, Deborah. What you got, Carla? You ready to go to bed. That's what I got. That's all right. <laughs> we was trying to see how long you were going to okay. hang anyway. Yeah. Y'all call that 6 a.m., right? Yes. We're going to 6 a.m. What you got? Hey, Show us what you're working on. Oh, right now. Oh, no, I'm just making cards. I'm just doing this live right now. Okay. Very cool. Very nice. Can you put it closer to your camera? Cool. Very nice. That's, that's pretty nice looking. Take it easy now, Carla. I love the colors. my glasses you broke your glasses how i don't know i was cleaning them and i think i cleaned too hard so yeah that's that's the sign that you well you know you are heavy-handed that's right you are that All right, Karen Buster's putting the time out in. 
Take it easy. Now, I know you got to go to work tomorrow. Thanks for getting out the bed to come join us. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you stayed up until midnight. Impressive. She made it to midnight, y'all. And look, I don't even know what Khabibia Janku's doing here. She's painting on somebody's side of the bed, on the floor, on her knees. But she's working it out, doing some collaging or something. Working that Mod Podge. Sheldon is in it. He's he's just doing his thing. I don't know what happened to Louise. She was the one that started this whole thing. I ain't seen Louise in about an hour already. Louise went to go get something to eat. Nah, she's on a sofa somewhere sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I've been working. Oh, she's not far away from the clip, though. <laughs> I'm reminded. I had a question about the folks that do chargers. What do you seal them with? Clear acrylics, right? Prylon. Prylon? Does that protect the, like, that lets it be used, like, with heat and stuff? No, 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 no. Chargers are not uh, for food consumption. I mean, I knew that, I, but I thought like you put plates on top of chargers, but maybe I, I've i never done a formal sitting. No, no, no. He calls them chargers, but actually those are, are more like plates, the decorative plates. Oh, okay. That's just the Texas term for those things. Texas. Oh. <laughs> I was more curious because I was like, oh, I kind of want to make one for my own table. <laughs> well, I use them. I use them under my I use them under my plates, but the ones that you that they make, you probably would use them more decoratively. Ah. I mean, I have chargers that I use under my plates. Because that's yeah, when I Googled it, that's what people were using them for was underneath the plates. Yeah, there it's a it's a part of you can make it a part of the table setting, but the way LaShawn does it, you you know, people probably use it more decoratively because they're not going to buy 12 of those. Yeah. They might. Let me wrap this up. I'll go next. Say it again, Karen. Your sound has gotten weird. I said, are you still eating? No, that cake has gone a long time ago. Is that ago. better? Yes, much better. I did a charge my earphones. 
No, you sound crystal clear now. Got another person joining the uh, the Zoom room. Uh, people in the Zoom room, this is Rosemary Wood. She is the person that runs the gallery at um, Art for the Soul Gallery in Springfield. And she's probably going to hide her face because it's late. What is Miss Rosemary doing up? This past her bedtime. Yeah, she's up. She just checked in to the Zoom room. Unmute yourself, Rosemary, if you're in the Zoom room. This is the gallery where the exhibition will be held, as a matter of fact. Coffee not yet. That's probably not till the sun starts coming up. You got that coffee on? I, I don't do coffee. I'll be bouncing off the walls in here. That's probably Karen, though. Karen Clark got that coffee going. I do. Hey, there you go, Carol. You got some representation coming in Springfield. All right, I'm going back to work. Okay. All right. All right, now, thank you for checking in, Rosemary. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just saw Carol rub her eye. She rubbed her left eye. I just saw Carol rub her left eye in the Zoom room. That she's, she's, I think she might be about to fall.
Anybody sleep over here yet? <laughs> Uh-oh, Carol Graydon got into her second round of smacks. What is that? Uh, Khabibi Ajanku, how are you on your knees working? How does that work? How does it work with you on your knees? Yeah, you're the only person working on their knees. What's going on? How does that work? Okay, I thought you were on your knees on the floor. Okay, just making sure. All right, we're going to mute.
All right, we are sharing our Zoom room again. The folks that have survived. Oh, I think Carol Graydon got her nightgown and a, and a blanket out. She snuck that in on us. Yeah, she getting ready already. That last snack did it. That last snack did it. She's almost out. <laughs> what you eating there, Karen Clark? They look like a good old fashioned chicken wings. She's smiling too, ain't she? She look real happy. And uh, Carol Carson just, I don't know. She don't look like she's tired at all. Like she just started. How those wrists holding up, Michelle? You're muted. Oops, sorry. Uh, I'm doing great, actually. I changed my mouth to a rollerball, and that was the secret. Okay. Uh, when I was editing the videos, I was using my mouse, and that was what was triggering it. But then uh, my new rollerball mouse, mouse is amazing. Okay. I kept doing my exercises, and I feel great. Good. Glad to hear that. What is that? She got chicken wings in the good old fashioned hot sauce package. You must plan to work till at least seven to eight o'clock in the morning. Mm. That reminds me, I was craving, uh, what is it, Buffalo Wild Wings. I, I wish we still uh, had I here. think that's kind of what Karen looked like she eating. Something close. Yeah. We used to have one around Golden here. Skillet. Hey! How you holding up, Kathleen? You you just muted. You got to unmute yourself, Kathleen. Just ask me how you yeah, doing. Yeah, I did, and then it went muted back. No problem. How you holding up down there? I keep thinking one more row. Just one more row. <laughs> Just one more row. <laughs> Just one more row. Well, I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that for the next hour and see if that helps me out a little bit. One more row. Please. One more row. See how it works. Okay, I'm on it. Are you sleeping? No, I'm good. I got energy because the Zoom room is there with me, too. Except for that Carol Gray, I don't know. She got a, 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 a blue robe on and she got a big old white blanket she done threw over the back of the chair. I think her screen's gonna go black anytime mm -hmm. now. I'm pretty sure. Mm. Well, what? Well, where's that one? I mean, where's Louise? Uh, Louise is taking a break, but she ain't gone far. She probably got a computer right next to her, waiting for her name to be mentioned. I'm trying to see who that is. Is that your is that your sound making that noise? Man, that must have Sheldon. Sheldon's trying to hang, but it's technology. Well, my black plastic Sheldon. bag could have been loud. No, no, it wasn't you. Mm. Hey, Poncho, my mom hates this. She that's hates what? Oh, I'm that's asking. okay. I completely understand it. I won't hold that against you at all. <laughs> My drink of choice? Water. Okay. Yeah, that's a good thing. It's nice and healthy. You wash your wings down with some Walt hair. 
Well, I'm hungry again. I got to find something else to nibble on. Mm. Maybe I need some water. That's it. That was sometimes, it. Sometimes when you're hungry, Drink it's some water. water. My mom used to say that to me. She's like, drink water. That'll Louise like Cutler is drinking drink. naked, naked berry blasts with uh, Louise Cutler is drinking. I do have some shrimp bites I can throw on my George Foreman grill. Mm. Drink water. All right, Khabibi looked like she's falling asleep wide awake. in a sitting position. <laughs> nah, she's sewing some stuff. Look at that, y'all. I had to bring it into the Zoom room so y'all can see it. She's making uh she's sewing something with African fabric on it. Can you see it, Karen Clark? Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, you got to turn your volume down, uh, You can't listen to it loud. No, no, not me. You just can't listen to the show loud. I don't know what you got rigged up over there. Uh, unmuted so we can hear you. Yeah. Pretty cool. That's cool. It's very nice. The indigo is very pretty. Very nice. Well, oh, I'm look at that. In. Kathleen, I'm ready Kathleen to work on the got some, Look at Kathleen. She got a whole plate of What goodies. is that? Cookies? Yeah, that looks like sweet cookies. potato brownies. Oh, the, the, sweet oh, potato right. brownies. And my cookie thing. All right. It's the cookie thing. It's bananas and oats. Very nice. Did you make those yourself, well, Kath uh, Kathleen? Yes. Very cool. Well, don't drop it yes. off your fork now. Yeah, don't drop, don't it, drop it off it your off
Where's Sheldon? Uh, he's still around. He's lost his feet a couple times.
Oh, Fran Gong is in the house. You must be at the shop working. <laughs> Unmute yourself, darling. What, are you at the at the studio or are you at home working? I just got home. You just got home? Hard work going at almost one o'clock in the morning. Yeah, well, it is. We got, uh, what, six more hours to go? Well, I'm going to sit with you for a little while. <laughs> All right. Uh, we holding up. We got to see how many is in the studio right now. We got about one, two, three, four, four and a half, because I think Deborah Shedrick's taking a nap. Okay. And we got uh, the same amount in the, in the Zoom room. We got one lady that's already broke out her uh, her robe and her blanket, though. So she <laughs> she will remain nameless. <laughs> you probably can tell which one it is. <laughs> and uh, Miss Cur Miss Curl Carson is just like a machine over there. She's just working, working, working. She reminds me of Karen Clark. Wonderful. All right, I'm going back to work. All right, but I'm going to hang out. All right.
How you holding up, Louise Cutler? I'm doing great. You look like you're making some great progress on that piece. Yeah, she's coming along. Looking really nice. Yeah. I've been wanting to finish her for a while. Looking good. team creative quarantine people i have come to my last row well kathleen good night. you have a good night i think it was I all i think it was that plate that plate of dessert that did it did it to you <laughs> Have a good night, Kathleen. See you tomorrow. Good night, good night Kathleen. I don't know, y'all. We got the same amount of people in the studio as we got in the Zoom room. Well, Karen, I'm down. I've got two in now. Two done. All right, I got my Zoom room in there for a little bit so y'all can see each other, so y'all can see who's left. That's who's left in the Zoom room, y'all. And everybody working. And nobody's sleeping. And I think Carol Gray got a breath of fresh air. She's got a new win. Her, her, she's <laughs> She looked like she's got her energy back. I don't know what she did. <laughs> Thank you.
Um, who's got the computer on the bed working? Oh, that's that's Fran. That's, Fran, why that's we all Fran. Bedroom, girl? You know, she don't ever stop working. In the bedroom. Girl, <laughs> I mean, she giving us five bone. Lord have mercy. I'm just glad to see she home for a change. Yeah. Okay. All right. Go on, Diva. Oh, look who woke up again. Oh, Deborah Shedrick on back. She, that was a power nap right there. That only took a couple seconds. Straight up. I couldn't even sleep that. Did you hear me? Say it again. I couldn't even go to sleep. <laughs> I couldn't even sleep. <laughs> I was too busy watching y'all. Thank you. 
I'm eating some shrimp bites and some Dijon mustard. Hey, Panda. 
and um, another half an I'm hour. So I always this stream is going to close at eight o'clock, and we will start another stream right behind it. What were you saying, Karen? I'm sorry. No, that's okay. I I, um, I get stuck when it comes to men. Mm -hmm. I'm always stuck, and so I need to figure out. I know he's going to get some earrings, but. Tell me, like, what about that facial hair? Is it man? Does he look manly or not? He's like right in the middle. He needs more jaw. Okay. Just a little bit okay. more jaw. Okay. How about the head? What what would you do with the head part? Would you give him hair? Hmm? Say it again. Would you give him hair? Would I give him hair? I said, would he? I said, would you give him hair? Try not to give him any.
Or John. Let me see what you got there. More John. No, he's looking. He's looking good. I would. I would tame his cheeks a little bit. Okay. His 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 uh his cheekbones just just to kind of even okay. him out a little bit. Right. Gotcha.
<laughs> okay, we're at 741. Seven hours and 41. Yeah, they only allow a eight hour stream on StreamYard. So we're going to start another one at in 15 minutes. I just sent you guys the second link. So go to your email addresses and you'll find the second link. Um, Karen and Michelle and everybody. Who's all on here? Which, oh, that's okay. I just sent um, the email. I, I don't know how long of a recording. How long will uh, Zoom stay up? I thought Zoom would stay up for um, a good while. Um, it's still running strong. Right. I, I don't think Zoom will go out. Okay. So. I don't know because the people in the Zoom room don't look tired. They probably not because they haven't done 27 days. Well, they have. But uh, well, you know, they, some of them have. <laughs> I said, I, I took that back and I said, Girl, they have. <laughs> That's what I, I, you see, I stopped. <laughs> And the funny thing about it, we don't know how many people actually stuck it out. Well, we'll see. So if you're watching, we will be starting our second half. The link is already up. As a matter of fact, let me put the link in the stream. Well, I'll put one of the, I can't put all the links in the stream because I'm not sure where everybody is. Well, You'll see the link where you are. Now, Alika Muhammad is not in the Zoom room, but she is still she is still watching at 143. Yeah. I think we're going to have several of them still watching at 143. Alika need to come in the Zoom room. Maybe she maybe she got her pajamas on. That ain't stop a couple of these people. Carol and Fran. And I don't know what's going on with Khabibi. She's normally in a, like a, a total coma by two o'clock in the morning. Khabibi trying to get that artwork. Trying to, she's trying to stay hang in there. She, she's, she gonna hang in there. She's. Oh, Alika says send her the link. Alika said, Alika, if you want the link, um, what is it? Send your email address, uh, put it in the, uh, what is it? Creative Quarantine. Go to the Creative Quarantine site and drop your email address in the Creative Quarantine uh, inbox. Drop it in the inbox on the Creative Quarantine page and I will send you a link via your email address. Michelle is still hanging in there painting, huh? Yes, yes. How you holding up, Karen? I see you stretching. Thank you. I'm good. How about Deborah? I mean, Deborah. I'm messing up names now, y'all. You can mess up names anyway. How you holding up, Deborah? I keep eating. You keep eating. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds That's like me. I'm staying awake. Yeah, I found that my appetite is a little heavier at night. And that's unusual. Yeah. I bought me a veggie tray. So I've been eating vegetables. Oh, uh, you are you are on it then with your veggie tray self. <laughs> I went to the store and got me a veggie tray. 
I think Carol Gray are playing video games. I don't know what to do with this man. I don't know what to do. With this man. Alika, check your email. I sent you the link. Who is that in the bed? Take yourself off mute. You're on mute, friend. I'm still working. I'm at home. Where's <laughs> Concho? Come to the camera for one more time. Because I'm going to rip this up and put it away. Because uh, I'm feeling some kind of way about it. Your sound, is, your sound is bad again. Hold on. Probably all our stuff need charging up. Better? Mm-hmm. All right, talk to me. Corny? I think we can actually change that now to the uh, current time. Oh, yeah. It's day 28. Day 28, that's what we are into. Deborah Shedrick is still working, huh? Mm hmm. I'm going to head over to the other one because we need to. Um, well, you close this one out and I'll start the okay, other one. Okay, well, you go over to the you go over to the other one and I'll close this one out. Okay. This one will be closing in 9 minutes because Facebook is going to close all of the all of them down. Um, you, I'm YouTube, now, huh? 
<laughs> yeah, because YouTube will stay on. So, but, okay, uh, I'm logging Facebook. out of this one now. All right, guys. Logging out. The board, did you hear? Did you hear me? What am I supposed to do? I sent you another. I what sent you I another link. I sent another link to you, and you can go over to that other link to where Poncho is going to be. Poncho is going to be okay. in the next. I sent the other link. On uh, it's in your email, and he's going to open up that new one. It's a new stream yeah. stream yard. Yeah, it's in the it's stream yard. It's just we're going to do another one because uh, Facebook only allows you eight hours. Okay. And so we had to do a second well, one. Huh? Okay, I'm gone. I'm gone. You're not coming back in? I'm going over. Yeah, I'm going over to the other one. Okay, go ahead. Okay, bye. All right. Michelle, did you hear me? This was the link. Huh? This was the link for link two. Oh, <laughs> did I do the wrong one? I think so. Hey. Hey, hey, um, check your connection. All of the Facebook that you have. Huh? Huh? Oh, we're, that's because we're in the wrong link. I sent the wrong link. Hold on. Two, 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 two. I sent the other, I sent the wrong link. All right, we're just going to close this one out. So if you guys are hanging out there with us, um, go over to the, hello? Hey. Yeah, I think some kind of way it, it started. At the time, the, uh, the show time started, maybe the time was set incorrectly. Oh, okay. I'll go and start them all back if they've closed yeah, because, up. Yeah, uh, because it won't connect the, uh, all of the Facebook pages. Okay, I'll reconnect them. Okay. 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 All right, so if you're hanging out with us, head on over to the next, um, the next link. It is up.